Wow, you typed it just in time. That was hard. You almost misspelled it. <laughs> I did sugar what you got. Oh. <laughs> Live from Austin, Texas, where the only boys in blue we back are Mega Man, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Izzy from Izzy's Quest for the Olympic Rings. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. It's us. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. Yeah, that's a complete and full list of all the uh, blue boys we support. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm sure we all agree. Ain't, ain't no one who dislikes Sonic the Hedgehog, for one. How could you hate Sonic? How He's could you? Boy. You know, I hear he had a rough transition to 3D. <laughs> a little bit? I'm sorry, I, I just see that line quoted so many times. Anyway, it's Retro Pals, coming in hot. We had uh, we were prepping up until the very last minute, so this stream uh -huh. is going to be extra good and extra complicated. Mm -hmm. Special thanks in advance to Alex, who yes. put together this stream 100% all his own. He has joined the Force, and he's ready to show us just what uh, the Force means. No. Take it away, Alex. No, I'm not. Well, I guess the Force has to thank some people. Yes. Thank you uh, to Sasquatulus for the 71-month resub. 71 months! Holy crap! Sadly, I have to say, Granny's gonna get you. She is. She I've is. heard, I've heard tales of this Granny. We'll be, we'll be on the lookout. Thank you. Thank you, Drumcan Jones, for the 100 bits. Apab, all pals are beautiful. Thank you. Thank oh you. well, thank you. I, I thought that was going somewhere else, but no, I'm glad it went where honey. it did. Thank you, Sepsi19, for the 50 bits with Cookie all the way. Welcome and Cookie's greetings to you. Thank you, Smubble Bear, 78 month resub into Ken Williams. So we're gonna be talking about that guy tonight. <laughs> Ken Williams watches over tonight's stream uh, with mixed feelings. Thank you, Smubble. Thank you, Randall Thor, for the two month resub. Long time viewer, second time subscriber. Well, thank you. Hey, thank you for the second sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Kate Libsy, for the 53 months and the 1312 shout out. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kate Libsy. And thank you, Proxy Glitch, Glitch, Glitch Cat, for the 60 month resub. 1312, that does include Mouse Cop. It does. It thank does. you. Thank you. Finally, someone recognizes mm -hmm. all right y'all tonight is uh the, the least chaotic and most straight laced retro pal stream of all time we're gonna play sierra police quest games as voted on by our patrons in this yes. recent poll danny yeah did you take a screenshot of the poll yeah it's in the downloads folder why don't you show it okay I... it has a it has a black background it may have thrown you off okay that's uh <clears throat> uh that oh! one you're right. It did mm -hmm. throw me off. Black background. Yeah. Everybody keeps asking us to play PC games, specifically point-and-click adventure games. And I'm like, I didn't grow up with that. That would be the worst stream of all time. So luckily, I have Alex to uh, mm -hmm. put together this uh, for us. Our stream workhorse today, Alex, he was in charge. <laughs> he was in charge of this week's poll, which turned out this way. Mm-hmm. I decided if we were going to play point-and-click adventure games, we had to start with the big boys. King's Quest versus Police Quest. King's versus Police. Who wins? The Police. Big surprise. Sorry. Uh, it's the Dream Police. They're, they'll be inside of your head and also inside <laughs> of your video game. Thank you. Kaboom, 25 bits. Here's some bits. Here's looking at you, kid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank also, you. I'm going to give a shout out real quick to Daryl F. Gates. Yeah, big shout out to him for making these uh, these great games that everyone loves. They're completely unproblematic. I think I'm getting the name right here. Sorry if I don't. I think that's you, Magane67. Yes. Okay, good. I got you correctly. Yes. Magane67 <laughs> did a whole Magane. <laughs> I you y'all did a whole bunch of setup. <laughs> they did a whole bunch of setup for me uh, with this. They um. He got me a bunch of save files and basically did a lot of the hard work for Police Quest 1 through 3. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Basically the good Police Quest. We'll get into that soon. But Police Quest. Police Danny, Quest. What do you know about Police Quest? Well, there was this company called Sierra. Uh-huh. And they made PC adventure games mostly, starting with the famous soft porn adventure. And then moving on to King's Quest, uh, Leisure Suit Larry, Police Quest, Space Quest. That's not a thing, right? Uh, it's a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, Space Quest. 
That shows how much I know. <laughs> I was a console gamer. I didn't have a computer until 1998. Give me a fucking break. Okay, okay, I well. didn't play any of this shit. But I do want to see it. I am very interested because so many people have memories of these games. And uh, it fills the greater context of the uh, the gamosphere. The gamosphere, huh? Yeah, we're here to round out the gamosphere today. And uh, I'm going to see these police quest games for the first time. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, that's not true. I have experience with one police quest game. It was the remake of Police Quest 1. It was on uh, Game Tap, if you remember that. Oh, yeah. I remember that game was mostly about driving. And if you don't follow the traffic rules, you just die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to get to see what happens in the sequels. I'm going to see the series transition to FMV gameplay, so mm -hmm. please look forward to that. But these first couple of games are probably going to look pretty crusty, and I'm looking forward to that as well. So, Alex, why don't you take it away? Okay, well, also thank you to Neo Zero, who gives me a nice little transition into what I want to talk about here. A 100-bit donation, thank you. Break the gym walls down. Well, folks, <laughs> this you. is Police Quest 1, where we're going to start on out. Oh Police boy. Quest 1, In Pursuit of the Death Angel. Look at how beautiful the this is. The Death Angel. The Death Angel, right? Isn't that a good name? So this was on the heels of like the uh, the big Charles Bronson films, where it was all like a pissed off cop out for revenge, and everything the cop does is good, and the world is just like full of filth. Well, you say that. Yeah. But it that's more the later... I would say that happens more later in the series. In the beginning... They got a cop consultant on this, Jim Walls, a uh, okay. retired police officer, and this game is very, yeah, the cops are good in this game and all that, but you'll see, you'll see. It's, okay. There's there's one thing this series is known for, and it is for the incredibly bonkers ways you can die, which is- Oh boy. Which is, yeah. Yeah, that's all I know about the uh, King's Quest games. I've seen long plays of King's Quest 5 and 6, and- those are all about the wacky deaths. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, shot. oh, first day on the force and already we're getting shot. Pursuit of the Death Angel. So, uh, the Death Angel. I asked, thank you for the 25 bits. Thank you. I've seen that before. The stream you're about to see is based on a true story pop up probably so let's go so first thing i'm gonna do oh man this is start. what the original looks like yeah i've okay. only ever played the remake okay, <laughs> that looks cool do? oh man first thing i'm gonna do take the key perfect so, so way before games it's were so easy to die sorry I'm, I'm not done talking okay go ahead it's so easy to die in the beginning so i'm gonna make sure i don't so i'm gonna take radio that's a radio here okay good a good squelchy good, noisy good. but see, workable. see i'm doing it perfectly here per Alex is being a perfectly squelchy cop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm being very squelchy. And I'm going in here. There was a naked gun game in development? Oh, my God. That's amazing. That would okay. been incredible. Don't worry. I'm doing everything I should. I see that there's something here I probably got to read. I'm doing pretty good not dying. You actually die if you don't get the keys. Can you take the podium and, like, pretend to be the chief? Let's read the paper. Uh, let's see. There's dope in the city. Uh, <laughs> President Hickle is doing some stuff. Uh, dope is there. El... El uh, the p cop that is number one is Sonny Bonds. I'm Sonny Bonds, by a the way. A female prison inmate has escaped. Yeah, flustered Flora. Uh, she flew the coop by hiding beneath a pile of soiled prison laundry. And flew the, the coop? Who writes this paper? People from the 20s? Uh, the kingdom of Daventry is now under siege by a renegade three-headed dragon. One of uh, the identified gnomes state that the kingdom is in a state of emergency. Is Doesn't that canon? <laughs> Let's know more about me, Sonny Bonds. I guess, I guess that's very far away, so it's not really our concern. You have to type put down paper. So. Sonny Bonds, oh, please okay. find your place. Briefing is about to begin. All right, let's do that. So this predates entirely point and click interfaces. This still has a text parser, which is why Alex is typing words. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Let's Alex see. is uh, being a good cop here. Just waiting in my seat. Mm, here looks like a good spot. Okay. You do have to take a place. Like, uh -huh. if you're not in your place, he yells at you. Well, I'm just taking a place to be nice, you know. Let's yeah. See who else is coming. Make him feel important. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's, uh... I'm gonna wait over here. Seems like a good spot. Okay. What if that guy tries to take your place? Uh, <laughs> one of the... Um, me. Hey, hey! Okay, I wanted to be here. Let me hear. <laughs> Let me hear. Let me hear. It's fine. I got my spot. I don't have to worry. 
You're not going to move. No. You're a cop. You make the rules. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the chief. It's fine. It's fine. Sonny, find your desk. Okay, that's fine. My desk is... That's kind of unfair that another guy here, that right? another guy took your desk. Boom, my desk is here. We're good. We're good. All right, just let give him a second. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We can get started. I'm at my desk. Bro. Bobinator, thanks for the bits. I'm going to let oh. Alex play this for himself. No, 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 no. My desk. That's my Okay, this is my desk fine. Well, how do you not know how do you know what your desk is? Well, it's got to be this one, right? This big old one over here. This, this has got to be my desk. <laughs> This is my desk. This is a terrible first day. This is my desk. You kid. It's not my first day. <laughs> Listen, Bob. Bonds, next time find your place and face this podium, shouts Sergeant Dooley, yeah, the dinosaur. Yeah, well, whatever. Sergeant Dooley runs a quiet, organized briefery. Wandering around and being a general nuisance just won't cut it. He demands respect for superior officers. Yeah, you should find your desk next time. Yeah, I should. Wait, I died. <laughs> hey, next time don't make this mistake again. And that was my first playthrough of Police Quest when I first started this game up. I see. So that's a representation of uh, Alex's first playthrough. You didn't find your desk, so you're fired. You're out on the street. You do not have a job anymore. Cool. Since you're dead, all you can oh. do is restore <laughs> You're dead? Well, uh, let's go back to... Uh... That escalated pretty quick. He just shot you dead where you stood. Uh, No, 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 no. I'm going to... There we go. Okay. okay. Take key. Take we got key. this. And then speed run your way to the... <laughs> no, no! <laughs> Spell it correctly! Okay. You're on a strict time limit. Spelling counts. This is great. Okay, I love not having to play games for stream. Good. Taste, you can taste the key? What does Actually, it taste like? Danny? Yeah? I don't like the ventilation in here. Okay. I don't think it's very good. Yeah. You know, I it's actually getting pretty hot in here. Yeah? You know what you should do when it gets hot in here? I heard uh -huh. from a wise sage you should take off all your clothes. It's getting hot in here. An interesting approach, but fatal. You instantly die of a heart attack. I died attack. of nudity. <laughs> Why can you do that? An honest mistake. Who, okay, okay. I had to show that off. Who's never disrobed in the police department before? I'm so glad that that's an option. The thing about these games is I've heard they're very difficult. They require pixel precision, and in cases like these, you are on a time limit, and often you don't know. But and you that's have also, to make sure you go to the right desk. Yeah, it's, it's also part of the fun, though, because you're expected to die a lot and see some ridiculous stuff in these. Okay, so these are very long games, but uh, like I said, Magane has... Hey. Look at that. Yay! I you found your desk. Has uh, given me a bunch of saves, so uh, okay, I so will be will... going through those after the after I, after I my next death, because there's a lot to go through, and there's a lot of interesting things to show off in this nice. game. Nice. And but yeah, strategy guide sales were important back then, too, so why not make it <laughs> ridiculous? Yeah, and I'll just call you Mega. Okay, good, good. <laughs> so, um... I don't know if I need to read the paper. I'm just I'm just going to read it. I think I do. I want to know about what's happening in Daventry. There's a dragon that seems more 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 important to the the public than than drug dealers. Okay, I read the paper. Like Certainly. They're, they're trying to tell us drugs are the problem and there's a dragon killing an entire country. They're killing gnomes too. Killing gnomes. Gnomes. You can't kill gnomes. Those things are unkillable. Kind of they also drive this? vehicles in that famous documentary, The Gnome Mobile. Is that real? <laughs> you said that so confidently. <laughs> that's a secret. You know, if you say anything confidently, you can say whatever you want. Yeah, that's like Communications 101. It is. It is. Just say anything confidently and people will believe you. Like, right. in this early adventure game, you could take off your clothes whenever you want. Pfft, they actually See, believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't believe that, but it's true. Are you actually at your desk? I am. Okay. I checked. Okay. Looks like you're a little behind it. There oh, we go. Look at that. Latest hot sheet of stolen rides. Rides means car. Oh. That's police lingo. Okay. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the long week.
weekend. I didn't. I was really awful. Okay. Looking for a black 1983 Cadillac license number LOP1238. Vin, uh-huh. Try hard to find it so I can get that Malcolm Washington character off my back. Okay. Okay. Now hear this. Three teenagers are arrested and three separate arrests, each for drunk driving. Okay. Two of the three were in possession of cocaine and all three attended Jefferson High School. Nice. Can that we have some? That should tell you something, boys and girls. Are we going to divvy it up? What does that tell me? That they like cocaine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kids love cocaine. Watch your butts, kids. We don't want old Chief Whipplestick whining about our Whipple industrial stick. imagery stats. Sonny Bonds, your call number will be 8332. Got it. Hey, you got through the briefing without dying. I Good did. start. Good start. So, let's explore a little. I'm going to go to the locker room. Yeah, what kids are getting coke? Is this a really uh, affluent neighborhood? That's what I was thinking. Sure clears out quick around here. I guess this is all from Sonny Bonds' perspective. Yeah, you're Sonny Bonds, just wandering around. Cool. Ooh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what you can do here. I know what I can do, too. Watch this. Get? Can you type get naked? Whereas Fudley has worn out the shower. Okay, let's go to the other one. You can wear out a shower? I guess that's possible. Ah, nothing like a nice hot shower in your uniform. Congratulations! Most players don't enter a shower while fully clothed. You've just lost a point. <laughs> You've been penalized for being I a, see someone a wet in the cop. Toilet. I wonder if I can yell at them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw a cherry bomb in there. Okay. Knock and say, open up, police. I bet he'll love it. I'm taking time out for many discussions right now, buddy boy. <laughs> <laughs> they won't let me. Okay. Fair enough. I should probably get something out of my locker. Now, which one of these is mine? Dampness penalty. Minus one point. And yeah, that'd be great if that ruins your equipment for later in the game. Okay, this has got to be my locker. <laughs> this? Of course, it's not going to tell you which locker it is. This? This? <laughs> okay. Hey. All right. I need my key. Oh. Okay. Yeah, leave your leave your car keys here. The policeman's tool, a gun. Let's look. A gun is like a multi tool. I, I know I what there's a speed loader. Okay, take ammo. Great. Okay. Uh, you got a three fifty seven Magnum, is that Okay, is that, is that I think police I'm ready. I think equipment? I'm ready to leave. I think I got I got my gun, I got my key. Mm -hmm. I got my radio. You left the shower running. You're wasting water. Will they keep docking me? What's the community going to think about that? Yeah, it's going to keep docking you over the whole game to turn off the shower. I assume it will. <laughs> You're like arresting the dude and it's like, "Oh, forgot the shower." Jim Walls takes water oh, conservation seriously. I haven't seen anything with your name on it come in lately. But see how the stupidity of this game, the stupidity of Sierra deaths really work well in this game? Yeah, because it's all procedural based. It mm -hmm. makes it makes logical sense. I just want to leave. Get me out of it's here. It's silly, but there is, a, there is a logic to it. Bonds, the station flooded somehow. Bonds, we're drowning. Okay, hold on. I think I can go fast. Wee! There we go. That's what oh, I'm talking about. Oh, no, that's about. fast. Okay. All right, time to motor. Okay, I have to walk around the car. That I know. Da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. Da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. <laughs> da da Look at this. I I'm circ... Oh, yeah! Oh, my God, I did it! Yo, it, I did it! It makes you do that, right? Uh-huh, I can't believe I did it right. 
Oh, how You're is not, that close not close enough. enough. Mm-hmm. You got to be near the driver's side door. Do you like this, Danny? You've been docked all your points. Goodbye, Bonds. Thank you, Kaboom. Enter. Car. Enter car. Shut door. I bet Use you can drive key. around with your door open. Turn on car. <laughs> drive. Hey. Nice job, Crash. That's one way to get a vacation. Oh. My dad. Thanks for playing Police Quest. Oh, I should have. Well, that's Police Quest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try some of the saves. And Mega was kind enough to. Uh, you didn't even do anything. Here. You died in the parking lot. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I've heard if you don't do that uh, rotary check, your car just explodes because it has it a does. bomb in it. <laughs> oh, did you buckle your seatbelt? Maybe that was it. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, come see some of these uh, saves here. Very nicely named. Let's do a... Oh, boy. I'm, I'm at an accident Oh, here. geez. Okay. Uh... Okay. Exit car. Um. Uh. Uh. Car. <laughs> Turn, exit, car, car, leave car. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, I, okay. Open door. Open door. <laughs> leave car. This cop can't do there anything. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I know they're going to get mad at me. Oh my God. There we <laughs> this go. This game is the biggest fucking rules grandma I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you didn't shut your car door. That's dangerous. Okay. Male slope, <laughs> slumped motionless A over the bloody way. injury to the left side of his head and a gaping hole in his lower right jaw. Ooh. Uh, remove man. Uh, talk to man. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe you should call the, for an ambulance. Okay. Better use the radio. Okay. I immediately know it's a smash coupe. Uh huh. A crowd of rubberneckers. Mm hmm. Okay. The guy's gonna be okay. Don't worry about little it. Little lady in the crowd cries, Officer, do something. The man is hurt. Well, I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> lady, I have a text parser here. Ah, I can't do anything. <laughs> Maybe okay. talk, man. Let me go talk radio. I don't know what to discover. Okay, okay. Look. Perhaps talk, man. I can't. He's uh dying. Oh, okay. Let's try a talk. Look, man. Yeah, I better look at him again. Look, man. Uh... That sounds... Bullet that's... hole! This is a man was murdered. Ah, so... Cancel the ambulance, I guess. 10-4, good buddy. 187! Be advised, one homicide unit is en route and the coroner's office has been notified. Is this a road rage incident? Uh, yes. Damn, what is this, L.A.? This is enlightened! A fake L.A. Oh, okay. It doesn't take place in a... Who's this young man? I don't like this young man. Talk to man. Oh, boy, officer. I saw what happened. I saw what everything. What happened? I was buying a paper at the newsstand across the street, and I heard the scream tires. I looked down at the street, and here comes a car and a light blue late model Cadillac racing down the street side by side. When they got closer. I heard a bang. I thought one of them had a blowout. <gasps> but right after that, this car here lost control and crashed. The light blue caddy just kept on jamming. Well, okay, we know what happened. We should take this guy in for drugs. <laughs> He's a little bit too excited. It won't let me leave. So yeah, from what I remember and what I understand about this, this game takes place over a series of crimes that you have to investigate. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily solve, just be like the beat cop who discovers them and goes through the procedure of uh, documenting it. Let's, uh... Okay. It's sprung. Uh, try this. <laughs> okay. 
Alex, you're pretty twisted. I think you're a good fit for the force. All right. Okay. Let's see uh, what other adventures Alex can have. Woman ran a red light. Okay. Ooh. This one should be easy, right? <laughs> she looks deep into your eyes and says, what may I do for you, officer? It accepted yell at woman. <laughs> Oh, can this be happening? Hey, I just got off the set of Leisure Suit Larry, and I'm still horny. Hey, <laughs> oh my god, this is horny, uh-huh. Nothing to hide. Uh. Tell Lady to put your jacket on. <laughs> Why, officer, I'm just sure I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Tell. Okay. What's a tell? Uh, tell. Yeah, that beautiful. I'm truly sorry, sir. VGA orange color. Anything I can do to convince you, and I do mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay, ma'am. <laughs> that makes it look like she's asking the question. <laughs> Uh, what's a gay? Yeah, you gotta do it. You haven't written her up yet. That was unnecessary for a simple traffic violation. Uh. <laughs> what's a warning? <laughs> Helen Hots! Helen Hots. Five foot two. Uh-huh. Yeah. Damn. She letting you have it. Uh. 202 Gyrate Court. I'm laughing because this is 100% what I envision these games to be. Like, 1,000%. <laughs> the text parser seems to be pretty robust. It, extends, it is. It expects stuff like uh, go away from car. Ram woman. Oh, okay. Well, that solves that. It's oh. back to driving school for you, Sonny. <laughs> okay, goodbye. You're pretty. Kaboom. <laughs> You're the worst cop of all time. Oh, man. What are you going to get up to at Carol's Caffeine Castle? Are you going to knock over the bikes like Pee Wee Herman? Yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Oh man. I'm I'm glad you did that. Now stand up on the bar and dance to to, to tequila. <laughs> How dare you not know? What's a dance? Oh, Sonny, those drunken bikers at the bar next door are taking up all my parking places in front of my cafe. They just have no consideration for others. <laughs> Where my customers going to park? Do you ask them to move their motorcycles, please? Great, another chapter in your life of big time crime stopping. Parking space hogging. Okay, what's over here? Before I go. And someone knocked over our bikes! You are now in the restroom. Welcome to the bathroom. Panic fills your heart as you watch the nasty fluid nearly breach the rim before it slowly subsides. Whew. We. Is that Got a lucky? Let me try. A, is that a on. leisure suit Larry reference? <laughs> it understands shit. The shitting theme. Hold on. Can you loudly relieve yourself? No, I can only go quiet. Sorry. How many times can you pee? Uh, probably forever. Yeah. This is the theme of pissing. Diarrhea. <laughs> Good 
Good question. <laughs> What's a diarrhea? Oh, all these adventure game scholars are watching this and just being like, oh my god, these people are idiots. <laughs> okay, let's go to Wino Willie. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Take a dump. Yeah, go to Willie's. Here comes trouble. <laughs> well, well, if it ain't the tiny bowl, man. <laughs> 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 the hell do you want, pig? You got a dart thrown into you. Bullseye. You've been nailed by a four gram dart and tossed by a 250 pound biker. Good job. Next time, watch while you're walking. I died. Thanks for playing Police Quest. <laughs> Let's try again. Do I like adventure games? Because I like this. This is very funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't think parking in front of a cafe is a crime either. It's just... Well, you gotta do something. Or do you? Can you just... <laughs> just put him in the middle of the street. <laughs> What happens if you don't get hit by the dart? Can you just like I think I think I can talk. Can you give us a peaceful resolution? <laughs> the tiny bowl man. <laughs> they knew. Word of your word of your bathroom adventures is spread. Why hurt these innocent people? Cops know that there are no innocent people. Start blasting. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you doing, Sonny? She doesn't want to talk to me. That's fair. You're the worst. You're the worst cop of all time. I want to see if I can use my nightstick to move these motorcycles. <laughs> Ow. Gonna bring these motorcycles in for questioning. Okay. Well, I died. Yeah, you got darted. I guess I can ask. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. I guess I can ask a woman for information. Lady, give me. Yeah, yeah, tidy bowl man, whatever. Just say move bikes. How can you ask for information? <laughs> well, <laughs> for some. Okay, I got to talk to man. The okay. animal in the black leather jacket says, we don't talk to no pigs. Let's talk to woman. Hello. I really like her hello. I think you're really making inroads with the uh, the biker community hello. here in Lighten. Say, move your motorcycles. Okay. Move your car. How do you plan to make us move our motorcycles, wimp? Move your I PR-24 just, uh... and take a defensive stance. The head biker quickly backs down, saying, Excuse us, sir. If you're going to be rough with us, we'll just leave quietly. Hey, how about that? Come on, guys. Let's blow this train. I did it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you were rude to some bikers for no reason. Okay. The local working girl... Oh, God. Seems to know you. She hops from the stool and shouts, Sonny Bond, is that you? My hero! Boy, am I glad you showed up! Those guys had some pretty strange ideas! <laughs> oh yeah, it's me, Sonny. Alright. Really now. weird ideas about where to park their bikes. So long, sweetie! Come see me sometime when we can spend more time, darling! Sorry about that, that was really bad. Damn, yes. all the ladies want Sonny Bonds. Okay. Is this another lady? No. Getting really good at closing my door. You are. You're becoming a part okay. of the procedure. This guy is drunk. Uh oh. Mm hmm. He is certainly, certainly feeling, feeling no, pain. no pain. Yeah, here we are at a traffic stop and outrun. Sounds like Tiny Tim singing through a mouthful of crackers. I didn't do nothing wrong, Ossifer. Uh, 
get the license. Art Sebastian and Allo parody. Look at this guy. Yeah, okay. Tim McIntosh, Cal Street, and he's a programmer. You turn the license to him. That appears uh, to be a match. Give man ticket. <laughs> yeah, restrictions programmer. Uh, arrest man. Why, Ossifer? I'm as sober as a... Test sobriety. Can't do okay. that. I suspect to leave car. Leave the car. Thank you. Maybe move. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Are you sure this guy needs to be the one tested for sobriety? Uh huh. And our muse is your subject gives his best imitation of a young swan attempting to first take off. Okay. Give ticket. Better do more uh, than write this one man. a ticket. Okay, where are we going? It's gonna what? take a little ride to see some friends of yours. It's okay, buddy. Come on. Woo! Let's go. He is drunk. <laughs> oh! Never trusted drunk. I got beaten to death by fake Al Love. You got clobbered to death. Never trust a drunk. They might clobber you to death. Thanks for playing Police Quest. You gotta handcuff him first. It's part of procedure. Okay. All right. If that gremlin keeps messing with me, I'm gonna notify Eternal Affairs. You get to fight gremlins in this? When I find out who the little weasel is, you better believe that he or she will be walking f a footbeat from the river all the way to Joe's junkyard. There's little weasels and gremlins? There's a chicken? Okay. Oh, man. We missed some stuff. Oh, you got a squad. Literally. Uh, there's a full-grown chicken in here. It's flapping around on the sergeant's desk. Feathers are everywhere. The chicken has lost control of her bodily functions. <laughs> the mysterious gremlin has struck Sergeant Dooley again. So this game has had chicken shit, running over motorcycles, there's all kinds of There's, there's multiple types of shit in this game. Can you shoot the chicken? Sonny, if I find out that you are that inconsiderate worthless gremlin, I'll hang you out to dry. What a Ooh, cruel, cruel thought. thought. Well, I'm sorry. It's just the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> bud. Right. They got bud. Do they? Oh, you should have eaten the chicken. Yeah, yeah. That's a waste of a good chicken. Going Ooh, civilian time. Room. Going undercover in the blue room. Is this a gay bar? I wish. Okay. Hey, I'm trying to sit in a chair. Okay, I will. Sit in chair, sit in chair. Have a seat, buddy. And you're like, well, I'm trying. Oh, his left. Okay. Sorry, oh, sorry. wrong chair. Boy, Boy, what a depressing day I've had today, Sonny. Mm hmm. Oh, no, their daughter's doing drugs. That sucks. Sorry. <laughs> Fork, did you really do that? That's a, that's a tradition with pigs, I've heard. My life's gone to crap. I can't talk to my daughter. She won't listen to me anymore. My drinking has my marriage on the rocks. My wife's ready to leave me. Everything's a mess. Oh, uh, we don't have a vent channel for a reason. <laughs> hey, Keith. How's it going? Good, Sonny. No, you're not going to tell Keith about your problems? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jack is totally surprised as everyone sings happy birthday. Yay, happy birthday. Happy birthday. This game is happy psycho. <laughs> Now make a wish. Hoochie Coochie Hannah. Hannah enters the room dressed in a grass skirt balloons. Oh, jeez. It's Hoochie Coochie Hannah. Oh, no, now what? Jack is horrified. It's time to stand up and face the music, Jack. Kiss. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, wee. She really pops my balloon. Orange right 
for the 100 bits. Thank you. Thank In you, Andre. In your voice, Hoochie Coochie Hannah whispers, here's a little something so you'll have a happy birthday, Jack, baby. <laughs> Goodbye, Hoochie Coochie Hannah. She's my favorite character so far. Oh, Jack, you old codger, what do you think of Hoochie Coochie <laughs> Hannah? <laughs> you know, Keith, I think I'll ask Santa to put her under my tree that she I don't oh. think it works like that. No, it doesn't. Okay, I gotta switch my shifts. That's fair. Oh, you forgot about swapping shifts. You were too busy hanging out with Hoochie Coochie Hannah. What's a candles? I only blow out the candles. All right, next up, let's go to the locker room. See what we can do in there. <laughs> yeah, Krogo, I can't wait to see the transition. Whoa, I'm... This just this game is just a little silly. Well, there's a... Yeah, this game is very silly, is the thing. It's, it's you know, it's about... It's, it's cop stuff, but it's it's pretty silly for being as, you know, serious just, as Just it sometimes is. there's a chicken shitting all over your chief's office. Mm-hmm. Can you join that man in the shower? I heard that Sweet Cheeks Mar Mary has the hots for you. <laughs> Hoochie Coochie Hannah is sure one spicy dancer. Is this a dating sim or a police procedural? Well, I'm going to go bother this guy. <clears throat> hey, man, what are you staring at? I like what I see. Shower's already occupied, and you're not that kind of boy. Aw, I kind of am, but whatever. I think you want to join the gay cops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well do it in your civilian clothes. All right. Okay, you turned off the shower this time, though. I like that I ran into a nude man. Okay. I do too. And the man was still in the toilet. Oh boy, what are we up to here? It looks like we stopped someone. Ah! Uh, don't, don't do that. This guy was ready. Not like that drunk. Let's, uh, let's just try again. Yeah, how do you how do you solve this problem if you just get blown away when you get uh, out your car? What if what if I just wait? Oh, what, if? what if what if I just you know chill? Thank you, room temperature for the twenty five gay bits for gay cops. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. What you gonna do when the gay for you? Just okay. Here. Well, you have you have uh, backup now at least. Okay. Be careful, Alex. Oh, this is a thing that actually oh, happened to Jim. My weapon. Okay. This happened to Jim Walls, so he put it in the game. This happened to my buddy Jim. Okay. <laughs> You tried to type your way out of it. Okay, we're waiting for backup. I can imagine this being tense, yeah, because you do one thing wrong and you're just shot dead. Okay, back up here. Your chances of being shot okay. have been reduced from 100 to 90%. Well, that's a little bit better of a, of a result than you got before. Uh, however, you have been killed. Yeah. Is that the, the music they play for taking a shit? That is a shit music. <laughs> okay. I didn't draw my gun in time, apparently. Next time, instead of opening your door, type shit. Okay. <laughs> but worked in the bathroom. Ooh. Good to see you. We've got a ripe one here with no ID. Is this the dude you arrested? Since you were the guy who booked him, we hope you can identify him. Oh, this is the guy who in the alternate universe got arrested uh, by us. Oh, God! <laughs> oh. Some uh, things never change. I drowned Sonny. Yeah. Sonny died. I know that's a thing you can do in Police Quest, too. I mean, uh, King's uh, Quest as well. So that is... <laughs> Police quest in pursuit of the death angel. Danny, what do you think? I love it. I want to play that myself. Just the number of silly ways you can die. Just 
it tickles my brain, I think. I think I'm finally getting what uh, what the big appeal is with these point-and-click adventure games, and it's fucking up and dying and seeing what ridiculous shit you can get away with. All right, so next up on our list of games is Police Quest 2. The Vengeance! Do you like the cover? Ooh. Do you like this guy, Danny? I do. He's got a gun. It looks good. It looks All very right. classy. Police Quest 2. The Vengeance. The Vengeance. The Quickening. The Vengeoning. There he is! Walls, wanted for excessive verbosity. No. BB Walls, they call him. All right, let's see how far I, I haven't done a lot of this one, so let's see how far I can get on this one. I like the art here in the intro. Oh my god, they got animation? Mm hmm. This is like, what, only the next year? I will say this. We will get to Police Quest before we get to it, but I, I Police Quest 4 will have you begging for Jim Walls. <laughs> You'll be like, Jim Walls, where are you, please? Good lighting effect. That's cool. Yeah, the artists worked well within the uh, limitations of the uh, of the old MS-DOS. Mark Siebert, where do I know him from? Someone watched Miami Vice between games. Maybe that's what happened, yeah. One year has passed since Detective Bond successfully brought Jesse Baines to justice. Baines' world of rap and drugs and women violence, the world that he controlled so well has been silence. Peace and serenity of its past. Beautiful. The memory of this animal. Why are you always calling common people animals? I don't like that. Uh, surely that doesn't have any broader meaning. Day begins with Detective Bond's rap for another routine day or so, it seems. Uh... Oh, oh, I'm going to need to, oh, okay. Just type anything. It's okay. probably cracked. Gay. <laughs> Close the window. Luckily, I have a lot of saves here, so. <laughs> okay, if you know the answer, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got All right, what's, what's okay. it say in the manual, then? All right, no, let's go to the manual. To uh. The last name of the person pictured in the attached evidence photo for homicide case. 18675 I think I may have actually. This is pretty funny. Oh, God. Colby? I, he looks like a Colby. Wow. He looks it's, like it's, a Colby. It's Bart Simpson. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's Colby. We have confirmation. It's Colby. Okay. Col. <laughs> Stop crashing! <laughs> I think it, it interpreted clicking as, like, uh, entering. Okay, Colby! 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 It's not this gonna be the same in between attempts. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with the save. Alright. That was my bad. <laughs> coochie, coochie Karen. You're the worst cop ever, Alex. Oh, okay. good guess. Alex cracked it. Okay. Uh, oh, here I am. Drive. Uh, you can't get that. I don't care about this map. Okay. All right. Uh. Police station looking a little bit better drawn this time around. So are you. Get ass. Bro. Bro. Eh. Eh. Okay. Uh, okay. Time to do some policing. Game? Game? How strange. Okay, anyways. Alex has lost control of his cop. Of course, it's going to be a pain in the ass about the door. You were carrying money clip. Bang on window and say, hey, let me in. Okay, I'm going to look in my car. They've got to be in my car, right? Okay.
You left the keys in the ignition. Rookie mistake. Do you close your door automatically in this one? Yeah, they changed it. Whoa, that's technology. Hold on. Ugh. Game, please. There we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> hey! Hey, I made it in! All right! All right, we've chewed a hole through the wall of the police station and we're, we're peering in. Plus on the numpad should speed things up if you need. Okay. Oh, oh, men on the toilet. We know what we need to do. We know what we need to do when we see a man on a the toilet. There's two men on the toilet. Okay. Because it's Police Quest 2. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know why this one's giving me lag this time. It's is, uh, is, is pushing plus helping? Mm. Actually, yes. There okay. Go. Talk to Pooping Man 1 toilet i'm not sure what you want me to do <laughs> just go toilet. in there and, go in there and declare toilet <laughs> speaking laboriously the stall's occupant says rose are red violets are fun hey man hey man i have constipation <laughs> all right let's see some of the it accepted talk to toilet man <laughs> Oh, do I like Sierra games? I don't have time to get into this. Okay, I got the combination. Here. I got a million. 36, I got a million things I'm interested in. Four, I can't just suddenly obsess over Sierra. Twelve. Oh. Okay. Look, poster. Is that Marie. huge hips, Hannah, or whatever her name was? No, it's Marie. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, Sexy Marie. Hannah, babe. Okay. Uh, get. Okay, get. Gun. Get. Get. Ammo. Get. Cuffs. Wow, you're racking up the points. Yeah, I got instructions for this part. Hoochie Coochie Hannah, that's what it was. Okay. This one seems a little more intuitive and a little less fiddly than the first game. Which I like, and also I kind of don't like. Mercy, I'm good. <laughs> What's your dude's problem? After ripping the gun from your holster, you think, not bad! <laughs> are, you, are you just hitting the unholster button over yeah, and over? Yeah, over and over, it's fun. <laughs> All right, locker. You clear leather at record speed and think, why did I do that? <laughs> All right, dude. Happy Jim Meadows. Wallace is telling me, uh, Thanks next for time, playing calm Police down. Quest 2. Next time, calm down. You just started blasting. You're so upset with your locker. Yeah, we're still reporting on the king. These events in Daventry are happening parallel to uh, the Lighten universe. In his heavy Italian accent, Officer Gillespie says... I'd like it to talk, but I'm a, how do you say, a book of the evidence. Wow, early roll for Mario. Sonny, I just don't have a time to talk. Stop bugging me, hotshot, I mean it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to get upset? Are you going to shoot me? Get lost. I don't Go want away. to do with you no I don't more. want to talk to you no more. Look, Mr. Detective, get lost. Hey, you a cockatoo Don't you understand the English? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Why does Mario have like ten different lines? 
I like Mario. Because he's a guest star from Nintendo, I okay. guess. Oh, now here we okay. go. This is the police business I was interested in. You experience excruciating pain. Did you not unholster your gun, Alex? You shot your gun without unholstering it. Next okay. time, draw your weapon before using it. It's fine. You just looked at the targets on the wall and put your hand on your gun on your hip and went blam. Hey. You should protect your ears. No, I don't need that. <laughs> it's going well. Forgive me for shouting, but failure to use ear protectors has caused severe hearing impairment. Your meager disability pension is sorry compensation for the constant ringing in your ears. Oh, uh, okay. Jim shakes his head before screaming at you. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see the actual plot of the game here, huh? You know, they say most accidents occur at the police station. Jesse Baines? Oh no, that was that one person who uh -oh. did the, the murder stuff. Okay. He escaped, but he took the jailers hostage. Okay, Keith are on a special force with the code name of Target. Oh, that jailer is as good as dead if you put Sonny Bonds on the case. I want you boys to answer any and all calls that might be or even remotely connected to this dirt bag. Okay. You boys are a menace on the highway. Okay. Take cigarette. No. You just take the cigarettes. <laughs> Keith just can't seem to quit. Well, Keith, you should not smoke in the office. You're the worst. Okay, we're going to talk. We're going to talk. Mm-hmm. Two man. All right. Hang up phone. Okay. That would be pretty rude to just push the uh, the hang up yeah, thing on the phone. Yeah, just like, get out of here, phone. Oh, sit at my desk. Okay. <laughs> Is Santa not real in this universe? No wonder there's so much crime. <laughs> really? Uh. One nine hundred Jim. Please try a different way of saying that. Don't just type sixty nine over and over again. Okay. Alex, we're two games in, and I think you're gonna make a really good fit for the force. All right, what's in here? One eight hundred. Are you slapping? Okay, where are the mug shots? Where are my mug shots? Where are my mug shots? Oh, you gotta open the file cabinet. Oh, okay. The tricky first step. Oh, he attempted murdered you. Nah, that's fine. Well, you know, we all make mistakes. Okay, well, we got his info. Let's uh, drive around with some Keith. Yeah, drive around with some Keith. Uh-huh. You're always bugging me about my smoking, Sonny, but I know you're not serious, are you? Yes! Yes! <laughs> I've invested so much into cigarettes over the years, I hate to see it all go up in smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's a real investment. I'm gonna buy up those rare cigarettes. Have them slabbed by the video game authority. Wife says I smoke too much, but you don't. But you don't, do you? Yes! Yes! 
Poor Keith. Just let him have his vice. No. If I can't smoke, neither can Keith. Ask Keith Keith about wife. Can you do that? (laughs) (laughs) You don't got to worry about wives or Santa in this game. Kiss Keith? I do care if you mind in the smoke in the car. Can't, can't believe, believe. You can smell my smoke way over there. Kiss me, you fool. The pressure gets you after a while, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a such a high pressure job, you just can't help but turn gay. Okay. No touching, no kissing. They don't let you do anything on the force. <laughs> Do not use the word gay. <laughs> I'm sure the people who who know this game are just being driven completely insane by watching you do this. But we're going to find the secret gay ending if it exists. And then you'll see. And you'll be glad that we tried to gay ending. <laughs> Go visit Jim. Jim, we're gay cops. What do we do? Drive to mall? Okay. Oh, I can go to the mall. Shopping early, early for Christmas? Uh-huh. All right, we're driving. Fuck yeah. Go to the mall. Yeah, I want to drive to Mario. We're going to shake down all the stores at the mall. Going to get our payola from Payless and from uh, DSW. Oh, a nice romantic date at the mall. You have no need to enter the mall? Wrong! 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 I'm out of here. It's called Police Investigation of the Orange Julius. Well, if I can't go to the mall... Alright. I wasn't sure if this would be a big improvement over the first game, but I can see how it evolved a little bit. Maybe we should bring a picnic lunch? Yeah, maybe! Driving from the mall. Maybe you should dress up really nice for me sometime. Cotton Cove, baby. Oh, yeah, Cotton Cove. 53 Mary 2, dispatch. Dispatch 53 Mary 2, go ahead. See the jogger standing by at the phone booth. Jogger has info on possible file play. Be advised, I have one trafficking and responding. Oh, boy, we're going to talk to a jogger. Are you excited? Yeah. I'll give you two to one odds for 50 cents of the joggers a dude. Yes or no? You're, You're on. on. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a lady! Doe! Eat shit, Keith! You got me again. I got a dollar! Sweet. The lady over there is a pretty sugar cop, but oh, what? God. She's a foul. <laughs> Why do we keep bringing Mario around? I Just because they're like, we can... Yeah, there's a PC-98 police quest, and all the character art is different. It looks very strange. One of them female joggers. All right. Oh, officer, it was terrible. There was blood. Tell me about blood. I came across okay. something that looked like blood. Oh, okay. Stopped looking right next to blood was a uh, footprints. Okay. I got scared, heard brush, brush crack, so I ran down here and called the cops. Okay, let's go look. It's probably just normal blood. Okay. Okay. Let me be safe. (laughs) You're pointing it right at the jogger. (laughs) Right behind you, partner. Ooh, ooh. Wow, 
Wow, you typed it just in time. That was hard. You almost misspelled it. <laughs> I did sugar what you got. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Sonny, did you see that? Sonny? Sonny? Sonny! Holy shit, I turned into a little ball. Yeah, you got ran over quick. I... The whole thing happened so fast. All right, um, let's try out the, the diving. In yeah, you game. almost did it right. Okay. Oh, there's scuba diving? Yeah. Hey. Woo. Mm-hmm. Quickly put on the fins and follow them into the swiftly moving river. Okay. God, if I stream these, I would be insufferable. <laughs> mm -hmm. People would just know the answers, but I'd just be trying the stupidest things. Swim to the mall. Swim to the gay mall. Run off with Keith and get married. Is there much scuba work involved in a... Uh... Actually, you'd be surprised. Uh, people look for evidence in vehicles a lot. Huh. No way! I've just watched... There are so many videos on YouTube of people who are like, Hey, could you check this lake? For like dead bodies and cars. Yeah, the and lake. The lake is where I would put all my evidence. Don't look there, cops. After I do a crime. There's so much YouTube content about people finding criminal evidence by looking in lakes. I want to just find like it. recreationally. Yeah, no, I'm not joking. Yes, yes. I'm trying to. I. Yeah, check out that screenshot that Clip it linked. Looks pretty different on old PC-98. I'm just leaving, apparently. Goodbye. Uh, what's that? Cell phone? Okay. Many large boulders. Old tire. Small rowboat. An old tire, you say? It's a very interesting verb you tried to use. <laughs> <laughs> what would you even say? What's the opposite of bury? Excavate, I guess? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do it anyway. I know you can't. The verb Alex tried was unbury. Well, unfortunately the current has me. Oh, you gotta worry about the current. Yeah, it's it's not letting me move that way. I think you're as dead as a duck. I'm I'm dead in here. Barry Bonds. I mean, uh, Billy Bonds. Sonny Billy Bonds. Bonds. All right, I'm going on a date with a babe. Whoa, really? Yeah. There's dating in this? Yeah, they're babes too. Please find a table, sir, and we'll be right with you. Yeah, shout out to all the uh, Sierra Adventure fan people, watch Sierra Adventure game fans watching me yeah, this and is, dying. This is from the perspective of people who don't normally play adventure games. We're just fucking around, but we're having fun finding uh -huh. out. We're having fun fucking around and finding out. Hi, Sonny! Uh, you know what? I don't want to date you. <laughs> Change my mind. I'm the concierge now. Or the, uh, or the garçon. Well, well Sonny Bonds, <laughs> no one will know why you walked out on your girl at Arnie's restaurant, but you must know how badly you hurt Marie's feelings. It'll have to deal with your guilt as you work on the task at hand. Wow, All right, Sonny. let's try again. Do a real date. Oh, okay. You want me to act like like I'm really dating? Yeah. Are you sure? Make her feel like a woman. Okay. You can just leave. <laughs> Yeah, at least it didn't kill you. Uh-huh. Oh, she's dead meat, isn't she? <laughs> That's after you get back home. <laughs> I think it's expecting 7-Up. Oh, that, that last one was was correct. 
Meatloaf, prime rib, and lobster. One of each, please. I like that you slyly tried to order for her, and then she just did it anyway. Yeah! Kiss her. <gasps> Aww. Aww! It's pretty. Pink Rapture. Yes, my hair is so pink. On a policeman's salary? Yeah, we call that the surf, turf, and also turf. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you spell hamburger. You will not need to use the word hamburger in this game. <laughs> yeah, keep it simple. Oh, man, you got an extra point for a double kiss. Uh, Marie, I don't want to alarm you, but there's someone out. <laughs> there's someone out there who's robbing us of our hamburgers. <laughs> our hamburgers. You just... You completely derailed my train of thought by typing the word shit. <laughs> You're the worst. This is the worst policeman I've ever seen. <laughs> Sniff! Bad game. Yeah, it's- it's- this- you need the Texas edition. I bet you tell all the girls about toilets. Tell Marie it's over. <laughs> Get diarrhea. Nah! Look, we're exploring the limits of what's possible within this engine. We're doing this methodically. First, we start by asking the game to interpret the various kinds of diarrhea you can have. I wonder what the correct... Uh, <laughs> come on. What's the correct uh, input this game's looking for? Maybe just eat lobster? <clears throat> just talk to Marie. I guess. Take out gun. My life is so different now. Here comes the chow! All right. This, by the way, is accurate to the Alex eating experience. While he's waiting for food, he's all like, talk about diarrhea, talk about toilets, talk about diarrhea. I ate the lobster. You got a point for it. Let me eat. <laughs> Yep, uh, all right. We had a fun date. Oh, absolutely nothing happened afterwards. Don't I worry see. about it. I see. Well, all right, Alex, you made it through a date. That's the most successful day you've had as a cop so far. <laughs> Get late. <laughs> what do you say about bag ladies? Uh, we're going to meet a bag lady. Okay. If you kept kissing Marie, you would eventually get laid. Oh, sorry. Wow. This is a romance procedural. Go to Cornfield Rave. Okay. <laughs> well, it's about the time. Why? Why? Everyone loves Mario. I found out this guy with the blood dripping from a drunk. <laughs> Fuck Mario. Classic Mario. <laughs> the door was unlocked. Well, in the side of the car's head. Oh. Woody Roberts. Now you can take over this mess. Keith, you can't smoke around the dead bodies. Keith. Just don't smoke while we're looking at corpses. Who do you think you are, Francis York Morgan? Oh, that looks... Looks like he had a real accident. Alex, come on! 
Sonny Bonds isn't that twisted. Daleks! Get out! You're off the force! You didn't really say that, did you? Jesus Christ. Oh, here comes the meat wagon. Alex, you were the worst. I'm a good at this. I'm a good at this. <laughs> uh, I don't see nobody. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat car. Looks like an execution. See, we're all making fun, but this wouldn't be too far from what I'd try to type into the game, especially if I'm not streaming it. If I was streaming it, I wouldn't type piss corpse. Mm-hmm. Very close to the victim's head. Ooh, execution style. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we've solved the investigation. A bullet killed this man. Uh, no more corpse. I'm done. <laughs> A more positive attitude would help. I sure hope you find it the clues. Ugh. Okay, I'm doing something. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Not Mario. Anyone but Mario. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. He's two days from retirement. <laughs> It won't let me. <laughs> you can't shoot Mario. Everyone's favorite character. It's because this is funny. I can't shoot the corner? Alright, next save. <laughs> what did you think? I guess you can shoot if you just pick a shoot gun. What can I do for you? You just walk off. Room oh, you, 108. You're okay. going to breach the door of a dirt bag. I want you to do this. Okay, I got to ask what room 108 is first. It's just, it's that door on the first floor, apparently. Thank you. Okay, I, he wouldn't let me. <laughs> that guy was very unhelpful. I'm sure you can just open it. Boom. Congratulations, you've been successful in taking yourself out of the game. Sorry, Jim. Let's go to the airport. <sighs> oh, no. What kind of shit can you get up to at the airport? Mm. Don't do anything that would put us on a list, Alex. <laughs> okay, well. All right. I should have finished that sentence before you finished typing. Why did I do that? Uh, he blows you into eternity. Wow. Normally, that's a good thing. <laughs> Not in this game. <laughs> okay. Your gun again sets off the alarm. Freeze, fella. I'm a cop. Cops have guns. Get over it. You pistol-packing dude. You have to use your head if you're a cop. Okay. This would be one of the hardest things to do in the game, the proper procedure for dealing with a concealed weapon. Yes, I do! I have many reasons. 
reasons to give gun to her. Yeah, use your head, not your gun. Show badge to man? Uh, that wouldn't occur to me, but that does make sense. Or show ID. Okay, thank God. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> it's all so simple. You just gotta know the procedure. I bet you didn't even read the policeman's handbook, did you, Alex? No. Look who's here! Well, well, well. <laughs> Don't hurt me, I'm a victim of circumstances. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Oh, no! Larry! <laughs> what for? Just type shoot. Your gun's not loaded. <laughs> Why am I helping you? You're in deep trouble for reckless endangerment. Sonny Bonds goes berserk once again. Alright, let's let's talk. You just try to shoot your unloaded gun and Larry's like, let me help you with that and helps you load the, the clip. It's another Ah, wah wah. You say talk to woman and then they turn around. What? That's crazy. Oh my god. All right. I can't believe Larry was there. All right, we got one more save to look at. This game's got everything. Okay. Oh, you could be on the airplane? Alex, I'll request again. Please don't do anything that'll get us put on the list. Okay. Uh... I, I, I may want to take future plane trips. Uh... Oh, no. Oh no! Sorry about the racism. Oh no! Well, wait till we play the fourth game, Christ. Uh huh. We are being hijacked. Okay. Uh huh. A bomb. All right. Uh. I want to disarm the bomb. Uh. Draw gun. There's a well. They just executed the uh the stewardess. Kill guy. You'd better use uh, your gun for that. Use gun. Gun is best used for killing. Oh. Let's try that again. <laughs> because of your furtive movement. <laughs> the furtive... 40-foot slabs for the raid. Weird. Furtive policeman so easily forgotten. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Alex is uh, being the worst policeman of all time in Police Quest 2. Ah, well, that went worse than last time. Jim shakes his head. Last attempt. All right, la 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 la, whatever. Uh, this is stereotypes. Da, 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 da. Let's move on. Okay. Draw gay. Then wait. Yeah, shoot. Shoot gu uh -oh. oh. There was another guy. <laughs> I saw it all happen. Alright, last attempt. Last attempt, and then we're moving on to Police Quest 3. Because of your Amidar movement, the hijacker shoots you. Jim shakes his head. Okay. Jim is Jim Walls, the guy who helped design this game. Oh. <laughs> well, that's Police Quest 2. A. It figures that shooting, which is so easily done in like an action game, is something that's so complicated and a huge pain in the ass in these games. Mm hmm. Police Quest 2, big oh, step up from the original. Name. Sorry about that, folks. I was Police Quest 2 The Vengeance. That was Police Quest 2, The Vengeance. Did you get Vengeance, Danny? I got Vengeance. Well, it's it's Alex's first day on the force. Let's be nice to him. Thank you, thank you. Next up is Police Quest 3, The Kindred. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. At that cover here. After the first two, I'd be really looking forward to this third game. 
If I I have a feeling if I had a computer back then and I played these, I would what? be super into them. He's poking out to poke you. <laughs> it's me. I'm the kindred over here. That's like a poster for gremlins or something. It does. I love it. All right. So next up, this is the last of the ones we got on ScumVM. This is Please Quest 3 of the kindred. Ooh. So another graphical bump, but not as big as the next game we're going to see. Mm-mm. The end of the original trilogy. Crooks hiding in PC big boxes. That's why they call them big boxes. They're big enough to hide in. Would you like to skip? No, let's watch it. Let's watch the intro. You can die on the airplane if you didn't perform maintenance on your gun at the beginning of the game. Cool. <laughs> Oh, now this is an intro. Now let's go. Thank you, Guruka. Jim Walls, woo! Hey, Jim. A couple problems in the last game, but overall, pretty good. You're not that bad. Well, that was weird. I don't worry about it. That Jan Hammer OST. Is that the Jan Hammer? Hello, I'm Jim Walls. Right? There he is! California Highway Patrol Officer and Designer of the Police Quest series. You're not just watching some movie star portraying the glamorous part of police work. You are the man behind the bag. Oh, that okay. is the Jan Hammer. All right. <laughs> nice. It's up to you to learn to follow the correct... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at this. They gave him animation frames. And he looks real now. You have to know when to be a hero and when to rely on caution. I'm just mm -hmm. assuming he has a southern accent. Yeah, he does, probably. Real events that occurred in my career. Like when I showered with my clothes on or shot I myself in the foot. I love showering with my clothes on. Here's a scene you're about to be walking into. We begin in media res. Growing like a weed. New industry, good jobs, and a decent standard of living. I love those. Boring. We'll watch. And we'll watch. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like that time when I shit in the restaurant while I was Poverty on a date. And crime are going up as fast as the new cultural center. Aw. We married Marie. Aw. She didn't get killed. No, she lived. This is like an animation, mutation, yes. Okay, she works at the mall! We got Oak Tree Mall coming back! Now we have a reason to go to the mall. And you have a home. Mm hmm What a fantasy this is. I want to live at the mall. Jim, why are you digitized and Sonny is drawn? <laughs> is Sonny the world's first pixel art policeman? Mm-hmm. I sure hope I don't get replaced by Daryl F. Gates. Seems tra- Danny, no spoilers. <laughs> Seems traffic's always understaffed, uh-huh. Well, that's Sunny's life, and it's a good one. Prote and worth protecting, and now it's time for you to assume the role of Detective Sunny Bonds. I'm invested in Sunny Bonds now. I want to see him succeed. Me too. They're in for one heck of a day. Whoa, so, graphics! Look at this graphics! This game has graphics now. Holy shit! I didn't know it looked this good by three. Wow. And you right click to do the things. Let's uh let's go here. Oh. There's pretty big differences between these first three police quest games. Like between King's Quest one and three, it's more of a gradual improvement. Hey, that's, that's you. My door. There we go. I is can't there, type gay anymore. Is there no longer a text parser? No, let's see. What the hell? Nope. First game was 87, 2 was 88, and this was 92. Yeah, 90, right. this was 92, yeah. So we had a few years of improvement there. So Jim Walls worked on this game, but he left near the end of development and had to be finished up by, oh, her name was Jane something, but it's in the Wikipedia article for the game. How many games based around or developed by dipshits have we showcased on stream? <laughs> quite a few, quite a few. I need a computer access card, okay. All right, don't shoot anyone. I'm going to let the cat out. Okay. Are you sure I can't shoot anyone? Don't. It's, it's Why your would first... I want to take a garbage can? Why wouldn't I want to take a garbage can? Mm. 
I'm going to look at my desk. It's you, Sonny. That's me. Those are file drawers. A lot of reference material. All right. I like this this idiot character you've cre curated. Where, like, <laughs> the, the lore is he's this really accomplished cop. But when you're playing him, he's all like, hey, free free garbage can. I'm going to take that with me. Mm -hmm. Why can't I take the garbage can? Let's go this way. What's Can you name? get naked? Oh, there's no text parser. You can't do that. No. God. Now I'm leading the meeting. You're... Oh, my God. You've become the man at the podium. Every officer's dream. Afternoon, Morales. Just give the damn briefing. <laughs> I'm just being friendly. <laughs> Aw, poor guy. I, I am here to make friends. A little more to the left. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Sarge. You're being heckled. <laughs> okay, I got the clipboard. Good uh, afternoon, people. I'll be filing in for uh, Sergeant Jaco. Where is Mario? Where's our Italian stereotype? Have a safe shift and think about making right hand approaches on your car stop. Oh my god, an animation magic animated version of Police Quest would be amazing. Well, you don't have the text parser, but apparently you can still draw your gun on people. Gee, Sarge, I'd really like to finish this report. Well, you don't get a chance. <laughs> oh, no. How do I draw my gun? I better get a gun. Yeah, get gun, then draw. Get gun. Mario died. Dude. Mario, die. No. Yeah, I killed Mario. He was swinging his arms from side to side, and I was just like, <laughs> freeze, motherfucker. And you were uh, fearing for your life. Yes. can't talk to these things damn you really told that executive toy it's a personnel file take it take it take it take it take it <laughs> i was testing you uh i try to start a conversation with him if you haven't got anything useful to show me then get the hell out of here i want to sit on this Sit. I prefer a cold beer to Freudian analysis. You and me both, buddy. I take the trash. <laughs> it's a theory receptacle. <laughs> Barry Bonds. <laughs> no, it's Sonny Bonds. Obsessed Sonny with Bonds. trash cans. <laughs> yeah, he was taking a Costanza nap. Let's go to this door. Come I on. bet you the therapist is the bad guy. Absolutely. You know they're the bad guy. The vice door is locked. That's no fair. I want the guns and the drugs. And the other vices. <laughs> what? There's other vices than guns and drugs. Give me your vices, please. I want vice. I want vice. I want vice. All right. It's going to probably take me a while to get out of here. So let's do a little bit of walking around. Then we'll click on the save files here. I want to go this way to this door. This door right here. Gaming has sure come a long way in five years. No, come back! <laughs> Sonny, you d d stupido! Go here. There you go. There we go! Oh, hey, my man right. can learn! Alright, let's talk to you. Who are you? It's just going to be a series of people hiding under Good their desks. Sorry, I can't talk. Got infernal, infernal, infernal affairs. Master <laughs> finished writing this report. Okay. Uh, let's look around. Homicide. Not in the homicide division. Old paperbacks. Oh, I'm There could have been, been a Miami Vice from around this time. There could have game. been. I think they made one for like PS2 or some shit. 
or PSP. All right, well. What about inflation? Nah, don't worry about it. Not a lot going out here. All right. Apparently, you can you can go into the ladies' locker room. So just, just walk, walk in. in. Just, just walk, walk in. in. Just walk in. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, let's do it. Give in to your urges. Infernal affairs. <laughs> Good old infernal affairs. Oh! <laughs> she went at the wrong time. There's a better time to go in there for sure. You men That's are all true. alike. Don't do that. Uh, that makes sense. You can go in a bunch of times, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> What are you banned me for? Alex is the one. I did it. On my women. fault. Well, I got slapped. Now let's uh, check out this guy here. Oh, officer, thank God. You got to stop that man. He's a raven lunatic. Okay, I will. Which which one? Uh. Uh, what's up, ma'am? He's almost butt naked. Ranting and raving about aliens from outer space. He's gonna hurt someone. Okay. Says his name is Roger Wilco. Okay. Let's walk to the right. Let's find the naked man. Should you draw your gun? That's fine. Okay. I mean, he's naked. He's probably not that much of a threat. Uh... <laughs> Okay. Hey, there he is. He's having a party. Let me save. Cancel. Let's save again. Let me get five to save. Yeah, new save. I wish this guy got his own theme music. Yeah, he's doing the bongo dance. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is look at him. Clearly in a deranged state of mind, whether because of drug use or mental instability. I you there! I to secure it before... Okay. Uh, what else can I do? Let's approach him. Yeah, let's make friends. Don't try to stop me. You'll be vaporized if you interfere. Hey, what are you doing? My That's badge. my badge. <laughs> <laughs> it's scoff at your badge. I'm warning you. <laughs> this guy rules. Oh, you had a spare badge. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at his clothes. Can you, like, take his clothes? How do I shoot this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Can you right-click on yourself for your inventory or something? I don't know. Yeah, how do you access your inventory yeah, in this? Yeah, how do you get into your inventory? Top of screen. Oh, there we go. Thank hey, you. I wouldn't go. have seen that. Let's get the gun. <laughs> he's he's clearly not showing any kind of threat to you. He's in the water making making some dances. <sighs> All right. He took nice my shot. Badge. <laughs> Shooting a perpetrator whose only threat to you is his mouth and fist is no way to uphold the law. You're suspended. Press is going to have a field day with your police brutality. That's the last thing we need. All right, fine, 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 fine. I'll, I'll you just it. blew him away. Oh, it, it went away. Never mind. There was a custom animation for that and cool everything. Guy. There we go. Okay, let's, 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 let's just, let's, let's, let's do that again. Let's talk to him. Yeah, let's talk it out this time. Yeah, in front of a child. Those people were just like 20 feet away. One week suspension with pay, but you learned your lesson. There we go. Excuse me. Excuse? <laughs> Are you trying to, trying to replicate his dance? <laughs> no, it's just... <laughs> hey, man, you dance pretty good. You're all right. Nope, no text parser. Can't talk okay. your way out of this one. I'm telling you, steal his clothes. Okay. Is 
set of keys and a driver's license. Hey, fella, I think I got something here. here. I'll leave those keys alone. Throw them in the lake. No, just, just toss them anywhere. You haul back and throw the keys <laughs> as far as you can into the river. Yes! Eat shit! <laughs> there! Now your keys and my badge are neighbors. But you didn't have extra keys! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, you're, you're on your own for this. <laughs> Don't just stand there while you're being attacked. Do something. It's Part called self-defense. Play a cat pukey three. All cops are bad at police <laughs> quest three. Okay. Was that the actual solution to that? I uh, don't know. <laughs> the way he beat his chest like Tarzan or some shit. Oh man. Oh, this sucks. I like Sierra games now. I didn't want this to happen. I need less interest, not more. I'm gonna play every single one of these. <laughs> Alex! You never approach a detained vehicle from the driver's side. Better check that officer's manual. Oops, no you can't because you're dead. I'm a dead man. Let's try that again. Okay, so the the correct Other thing to do the vehicle, correct yeah. thing to do at the lake was to use your nightstick apparently. On the man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you are supposed to throw his keys into the lake, which is kind of fucked up. Hey, bro. I must have read about that somewhere. Okay, to know. boss man, you handle it. Really? Why? Yeah. Why is he not going to sign the ticket? Is he like a sovereign citizen? Oh wow, Morales hates me. Cool. Sunny Bonds, Please not very well liked. For a failure to sign sucks! <laughs> it sucks! I'm taking her downtown. I gotta stand right here until I have a chance to talk to the violator. I love that album. <laughs> Sunny's here to talk some sense into the, talk. the woman. She's pregnant and nearly full term. Mm hmm. Is she about to give birth? Can we show this? Yes. And say... Your signature on the station is not a mission of guilt, ma'am. Only a promise to appear. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she hates that lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell it. Mm -hmm. Tell it like it is. She's very abrasive and insulting. I refuse to sign a for anybody who calls me fat girl. Yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, defund LPD. I'm actually with her. Would you please reconsider? I'm nice. Okay, take her to jail. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I know no. Face. It's the, it's it's the a, I'm going to give birth face. Yeah. Jail Woman baby. only winces as the emotional... Ocean of the situation kind of girl. Okay. Oh, man. She does not look dangerous. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk to Morales and tell her to apologize. Apologize! Uh-huh. Why don't I have a hard time believing that? It's obvious. Lady's hysterical. She'd pop off if you looked at her funny. She's been belligerent and hostile ever since I stopped her and she's begging for a night in jail. <laughs> oh. You know it what? Be? I'm evil. Let's incarcerate this one. Oh no, evil path, Alex. Alex is taking the dark side. Oh. He scored some renegade points for that one, Alex. Oh! <sighs> good job, Alex. I induced labor due to trauma. That's no good. Right, row. Oops. You really done it this time, Alex. You took a non-compensated day off. A uh, ten hundred thousand dollar lawsuit. Hundred million dollar lawsuit. Damn. Well, damn. Lady got a nice fat payday. She good came out her, looking honestly. pretty good. Yeah, non-compensated day of work. That lady, that that baby belongs to the jail now. Okay, in another scene, we're having a high-speed chase. Finally, yeah, they uh, saved. Mega saved me from the having to do the chases, thank God. 
I like that they scaled back the driving. The driving looked like a huge pain in the ass in the first game. That is a cool car. Oh, it's on hydraulics! Fuck yeah! Can you have a low ride off with your- <laughs> Uh, I like, I like, uh... Gets me every time. Okay, okay, buddy. Have you soft-locked at Jim Walls? Is he not letting you be a policeman anymore? It was the same car! Always lurking. Waiting for a cop to come by. Alright. I have to go around... No, wrong way, no, wrong no, way, wrong no, way! No. Ah! You know what? I'm just gonna let this guy slide. <laughs> you can go. Alright, let's let's check the speeder here. <laughs> I'm loving this. Alex, you should you should uh, be in charge of every stream. It's like I'm just watching a really funny long play. Where they don't actually get anything done. Hold on. Okay, at least he hasn't automatically shot you. That's that's better than some of the people we've arrested. Hi. I'll need to see your... Do you know why I stopped you? I was speeding. See, it's beautifully constructed female. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a proper excuse. That's not... I don't think that's gonna... <laughs> His vehicle is playing, I'm horny, 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 <laughs> so horny. This guy is horny. He literally said he had to drive so fast because some, because his dick was too hard. I'm letting this, I'm, I'm arresting this man. <laughs> this guy does not get off easy. If you prompt to slow it down, I'll give you a warning. He's so horny, but I almost yeah, let's hear, it. Yeah, let's hear it for having a dick. I hear you. Slow it down and have a good evening. Oh, I will. <laughs> All right, you can go. That's great. Look, can you, tone, can you tone down the horniness just a little bit? Don't let it affect how fast you're All driving right, your car. The drunk. Oh, good. The drunk scenario. These are always good. Hold on! I'll walk the correct way this time. Will you? Okay, good. You're learning. I'm learning. Hey. I need to see your driver's license. This man is inebriated. Just uh -huh. a couple. What do you say we please drive aboard the bourbon truck? <laughs> if I continue inhaling the pollution this man is exhaling, my lungs will be worse off than the ozone layer. It's oh, the man. Uh. Talk. Please step out of the car, sir. <laughs> Good animation. <laughs> There's wacky, uh, drunk music playing. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's plowed. This is a WarioWare mini game. Oh no, all over your shoes. You would have lit that slide. Cop shoes. You, you could have lit that slide if not for the puke. Yeah, you gotta cuff this guy. Oh, he automatically assumes the position. This has happened before. That's nice. Oh my god, Alex, are you about to properly arrest a man? Okay, okay, don't fuck this up. Hold on! I need to read him his Miranda rights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I won't let Oh, he's too okay. incoherent. He, he wouldn't get it. 
Now shoot him. <laughs> You're bu 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 busted. Just leave him there. I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay, hand on him. Okay, go to the patrol car. There we go. You did it! Oh my god! Alright. Now he's gonna get behind the wheel. Here we go, here we fucking go. Ah! No! <laughs> Well, you almost had it, Alex. You almost arrested the drunk. Do you want you to know came the plot so of the game? close. You came so close. What's the plot? I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay. Hope the rest of your patrol is less exciting. Sonny's wife's just getting off of work. What's she up to? No, I want to watch Oh, it. we're going to watch this. Here we go. Oh no. Not Marie. No, she's cool. <gasps> oh no, it's the kindred or whatever. Shit. Is that Keith? Because he's smoking. Well, they're kidnapping me. Can we go to army? Uh, I guess we can't because you got arrested. I mean, <laughs> not arrested, uh, kidnapped. Very different. Is it really that different? Please call dispatch at once. Okay. This game's got some good cinematic presentation. All right, apparently you've seen most of the fun stuff in the game at this All point. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> go catch some criminals. Okay, let's go. They put so much work into these, especially two and three. These are real labors of love, you can tell, or at least from people who have experienced some of this. I'm going to call everything. Yeah, talk to the floor. Look at look at man. Payphone. A towel dispenser. The gas crumb. Okay, blood alcohol content. Interesting. You got a whole lab here. No, you do. Let's see if I can leave. Oh, you're doing the cop dance again. Yes, I love it. Do the stanky leg. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of trapped in this. Oh, up, 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 up. We're leaving. Everybody, wiggle around and do the sunny bonds. Okay. Hold on. Uh, uh. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't had a few drinks? I'm fine. Dancing to the dragnet rap. <laughs> let's go in. Let's, let's... Celebrate like Sunny Bonds. Take off all your clothes and get hit by a car. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't take off my clothes. I forgot there's no text. See, that's why you need a text parser. You can't just type in get naked when there's nothing to type. New dance sensation that's arresting the nation. Oh no, the Oak Tree Mall! Alright. I'm responding to a dispatch call. Well, you just rolled right through that stop sign, but uh... Curbs just sneak right up on you, don't they? Oh no, it's okay. I think look, I'll try again. I, I'm gonna no. I think it was really funny to just have me just. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Yeah, once you hop the curve, you jumped from ten to one eighty. Whoop. 
I haven't driven in this game, so let's just. Oh god! I'm I think fine. you missed your turn. It's fine. It's fine. Turn on fig. Uh. <laughs> driving as hell in this game feels like it. <laughs> We're in Oak! We're eastbound on Oak! Thank you for doing the saves to spare me from driving, Mega. I <laughs> fucking appreciate it. I'm gonna dance. It's a wide open road. Might as well take use of both lanes. Come on, let me turn. Let me turn. Let me turn. Did I run a stop sign? You're supposed to be setting example to your driving bonds. Okay. There well. he goes again. Okay, now we're going to work with some of the facial recognition software in the game. Oh, boy. All right. This is going to look Drawing. good. So let's pick out some parts. Oh, you give fuck a yes. general description of the print. Mean looking fella, all dark and hairy. Okay, hairy. Sour face with a hawkish nose, sharp beady eyes, and a leery brow. Okay. Sharp beady eyes. Are those sharp and beady? Uh, sure. Is that sharp and beady? Yeah. Not even close. I mean, no. How about that? Oh, there's those are some sharp beady eyes. Narrower and beadier. How do they get narrower? Like that? Like that? A little too left. Okay. What does that mean? Oh, I see. That good? <laughs> A little too left. There we go. It's that's more like it. They projected right off his face like 3D. Okay. You click right apparently to make uh Okay. Yeah. Hey, way too big, Sonny. There we go. Is this? The eyes look okay. Good. Next, I have a hawkish nose. Hawkish. 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 I think we're looking for a beak. That looked like a beak. This is kind of beaky, right? Okay. That's, no. <laughs> that's not helpful. Is that hawkish? Looks like a hawk. Okay. Closer. With smaller nostrils. Way too big. There we go. <laughs> Okay, up a little. A little too low. <laughs> now this is the precision I expect from the Police Quest series. Certainly that's better, ma'am. Ma'am. Right click. You have to wait for her response. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay, we got it. Mouth. Uh, is that good? <laughs> now there's a sour one. Is that it? Tight mouth. Okay, We're very looking for tight. a tight mouth. That looks like a tight mouth. Mm, could closer. be, could be. Our suspect is Billy Corgan. There we go. Oh, man. Too sweet of a mouth. You got that bitter beer face. Okay, now we gotta do it. <laughs> okay, next up. Eyebrows. Okay, that'll do. Can I get like... There we go. How's that, ma'am? Did he have like evil Halloween eye eyebrows? There we go. Is that good? It's hairy. Too hairy. Oh, too hairy. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> How about that? Okay, a little bit more arched. More Got arched, it. but not comedically so. That's pretty arched. Okay. There, that's got to be it, right? Good. We're going to do this. It was wavy hair. Oh, okay. this is going to take a while. Is that it? Can That's you make the wavy. Three Stooges? Sissy hair! Excuse me? <laughs> is that an official term? Is that wavy? <laughs> Close. Okay. That's wavy. Okay. How... 
Yeah, lift that shit. Hey, last but not least, the beard. Full beard, okay. <clears throat> oh, that looks good. That's our man. This Holy is it. shit, we did it! You did it! You made a composite of your man. The suspect is Dracula. Searching. Searching. You think they're gonna find him? We got these. That's the rummy! The one there in the middle. I'll never forget his mean looking mug. Alright. It's Steve Rocklin of Pigeon Court. Two Looks like a local early. friend of no ours. No wants. Rocklin associates with and at one time was known to be a member of the cult Sons of Darkness. He, it is suspicioned the cult deals in the sale of crack cocaine. Oh, crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. Okay, so one of the drivers uh, that you arrest, uh, that if you try to arrest, they will try to take you to people's court. And here's what happens when that happens. You go to people's court? Uh-huh. Is Judge Wapner there? I hope so. Oh, man. I didn't know there was a people's court tie-in. Yeah, is this a, sat a satanic panic game? They kind of alluded to that. Dun dun dun. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Uh -huh. All right, we're rising from Mildred Simpson, Marge Simpson's sister. Anyone ever watch People's Court as a kid? Yes. <laughs> Judge Marilyn Millian's still the host. It'll never, she'll never stop. Mm hmm. Sunny Bonds, okay. You mm -hmm. watched Night Court? That's not the same thing. Not the same thing. Thank <laughs> you, Milo Marie Rose, for the 13-month resub. Appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for the Prime sub. Yes. Oh, Sunny Bonds. This is so interesting. Mm -hmm. There's so many subplots and things you can do. It's not just not just a series of uh, arrests. Yeah, why am I wearing a leather jacket? <laughs> to make you look cool. Uh. Yes, I see him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Speedometer at 35 miles per hour. Uh, I don't like the way he looks. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Could you show at the court the speedometer calibration chart? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'll show him that. Oh yeah. Uh, that looks like a calibration chart. Yeah, yeah. You look like Mr. Big from NARC. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, I didn't know this game turned into Phoenix Wright. I'm done. Can I go? Why does Reese get a funky tune? What's the theme of Sunny Bonds? think we should let lowrider off i don't think we, i wouldn't ever i i think he should get away with it oh this is the lowrider guy yeah he was just driving very slow no he's cool yeah that's the thing i'm okay with this guy the toilet sting from police quest one is sunny sting <laughs> theme well, of overflowing the toilet i just i mean if you're on the freeway maybe don't drive slow but if you're driving too slow on a city street oh uh, the defendant's guilty wow that was fast okay i wouldn't i i i wouldn't have let him do that i, I would have just you know no deliberation that. he's guilty i don't gotta deliberate shit i'm but the thing is in real life i'm also the kind of guy who's like i think we should all be driving slower I think so, too. All right, last but not least, let's take a look at this crime scene before we move on to police questions. Sonny, what did you do? Nothing, it's fine. What, what did you do? And Ellie is a lousy place to die. <laughs> let's look in the dumpster. Who's in the dumpster? Oh. oh, my God. A bloody shirt covers the upper torso. Yeah, no shit. You found a dumpster man. His face looks anything but peaceful. It's a smelly place to die. 
victims of dead for at least a few hours. I wonder if his crotch is anything. No. I don't know if this is going to be a long stream. We're all being held hostage by Alex. I was going to say, uh, would you like to go uh, another hour, Danny? I could go another hour. Okay. I think we can go a little bit longer. We only got two more games left. I want to see Police Quest 4. Oh, God. You know, so it appears to be hair and skin under the fingernails. Ooh, let's take a look. Okay, let's take it. Oh, do I have equipment? Uh, Please don't cut off his hand. Are those cigarettes? Yeah, let's cut this down. <laughs> what about this? Let's, let's do this. I think that's a lockpick, actually. Let's use this. Don't <laughs> lockpick the dead man. Using the toothpick, you scrape under the victim's fingernails. You then place it. I did it. All right. It's official. That's, uh... Police business. Uh, let's... Let's do this. I think your gun's loaded. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right, my gun isn't loaded. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, let's beat him with a flashlight. Alex! No, no! I'm trapped! I am never, ever going to trust you with a corpse. Oh, it's a pentagram carved. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Not another one. <laughs> what? Some freaked out silly old killer that thinks he's got a hotline to Satan. Now, hang on. Hold on. Well, I guess it's good you did what You're you did. You're under arrest for being dead. <laughs> for being dead as part of a Satan cult. Let's yeah, go. I'm covering him up. <laughs> How's a stiff? He's hanging in there. What's in his pocket? Okay. Let's go catch some bad guys. Let's look at the trash. Let's look at the trash. Dead in public? That's at least a life sentence. All right, let's go over here. Mmm, fresh time mark with gold. Well, this is the last thing I'm going to do. Yeah. Thank you, Contra Code, for the raid. I'm a... I'm Great time for a raid as Alex has been the worst policeman of all time. Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We're playing through a bunch of police quest games today, and Alex is being the very worst policeman I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm murdering. <laughs> the well, first three games have been kind of amazing. I really think that the police procedural part of them lends itself well to the uh, the adventure style gameplay. It does. And, and we're about to play the best game, Police Quest Four. Oh boy! Well, y'all came in for Police Quest Four, which. Oh, which... you played this one? Nice. This one looks good. I kind of want to play this. There's a real, oh there's a real upgrade that happens between Police Quest two and three. All right, we're quitting and we're doing our final, we're doing our last two games. Thank you everyone for the raid. We appreciate it. Yeah, Alex found a whole bunch of creative ways to die, mostly involving uh, not walking the correct way around the car when trying to arrest someone. I very there's always that, that there's always that one car waiting for Sonny Bonds to to make the wrong movement. So remember. I said that Jim Walls left the series. Yeah. That well, I'm y'all can look at this later. I'm gonna put a link into the chat. But folks, they decided to go with someone else. They decided Ken Williams was like, you know what? It's 1992. Who would be the most beloved man of 1992 to bring on to our video game series? Yes, that's right. Your friend and mine, Daryl Gates of the LAPD. This game, Police Quest 4, came out in 1994, long after uh, the things that disgraced him. In fact, let me just give you a link in the chat about the making of this. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, ex explaining all the stuff that was going on with the LAPD in the early 90s is beyond the scope of this stream. Let's, but just, let's just read to you if... one single line from uh, his Wikipedia page, Daryl okay. F. Gates' Wikipedia page. Sure. Uh, let's just, one single line. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Daryl Gates, da, da, da. Uh, found, oh, Daryl Gates, you may know him from Founding Dare, creating the concept of SWAT. And oh, Dare. I had their uh -huh. t-shirt. 
And according to one study, scandalous racist violence marked the LAPD under Gates' tempestuous leadership. That's in paragraph two. That's in paragraph two. <laughs> of in his entire Wikipedia page. After the Rodney King beating, he was found uh, by the uh, Christopher Commission to uh, be leading an extremely racist police force. Oh, if you don't if you don't see the link, it's be it's uh it's been blocked. Just look up the Vice.com article yeah, about this. Yeah. There's a pretty comprehensive article about the the making of these games. And yeah, this was uh, after the LA riots that he decided to work with the guy who was having the Rodney King blame placed on him. Uh, so yeah, Ken Williams apparently a believer in uh all press is good press. So please go ahead and hire Daryl F. Gates. So yeah, their thinking was, according to the article, there's that link. Link, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, Krongo. Was that uh, it, the notoriety would bring a lot of attention to the series. Uh, other people were like, can we please, please have other someone else write for this? And they were like, no, it's Daryl F. Gates. And not just is not just is Daryl Gates. What a choice. Not only is Daryl Gates the new consultant we have, but oh no, we're going all in. It's now Daryl F. Gates Police Quest. That's oh, right. Oh no, he took over the series. He did, he took over the entire series. In fact, there is a collection of all the games and SWAT one and two, and they named it Daryl F. Gates Police Quest series. He retroactively owned the previous <laughs> games. Wow. Does D.A.R.E. still exist? That's a good question. I was involved in that that program in elementary schools. I'm sure many of you were. All right. I got to switch systems here. We're doing Windows now. I remember nothing about the program. It's just I got a shirt that says D.A.R.E. on it. D.A.R.E. to be drug free. I got a shirt, too. And I wrote an essay uh, expecting to win, and my essay sucked really bad. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. What was your essay that you had to write? What did you write about? I don't fucking know. (laughs) It was a long time ago. That's not what I meant. What the hell is that? What did you do? Uh, Alex! <laughs> maybe well, maybe I... Control-Z a couple of times. Give me a second. I'm... <laughs> no. There we go. It's fine! I've I love OBS. I've been Daryl Gated or whatever. You've been Daryl Gate kept. I have, I have. Alright, this is Police Quest 4. Open season. Open season, huh? Here it is, the big uh, shift for the series. I have not seen this game. I am scared, honestly. Danny, do you like FMV? I love FMV. I don't love Daryl F. Gates. But yeah, I do love either. FMV. Game? There we go. Yeah, let's show the introduction. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa! A giant police shield is terrorizing the nation. Air 100, we have an officer down. Officer down. So one thing you'll notice is no longer takes place in the fictional city of Lighton. It takes place in Los Angeles. Oh, for for real, LA. Yeah. Okay, that's a choice. Wow! Just smash cut to the first uh, scene. Okay, so, uh... Oh, this animation looks really funny. John, let me warn you. It's bad. Real bad. It's Hickman. Hickman? Bob Hickman? He's been badly mutilated, John. Tortured, really. My God, Sam. Has Bob's wife, Catherine, been informed? When the call came in, I was told Hickman's captain was headed to their house. They have a little girl, don't they? Yeah, Valerie... Her name is Valerie. Look, John, I know you and Bob went back a long way. Mm Mm-hmm. A long way? Hell, Sam, Bob and I went through the academy together. We shared a ride for five years. I'm that little girl's godfather. I'm the godfather. (laughs) Bob was my best friend. Yeah, yeah, you could say we went back a long way. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, John, I... Uh, Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Sorry this city is so full of dirtbags, creeps, and losers. Bob was a great guy, Sam. A great (laughs) cop. Who the hell would do this to him? What the hell was he doing out there? I don't know, John. It's your job to find out. My job is to pick up the body and find the cause of death. Bye. So, uh... 
I was about to say this looks like Harvester. I guess it was just from that period that FMV games started right, to look hold like on. this. I want to change some settings here. Okay. Uh, oh, it doesn't. Uh, I was seeing if it let, would let me. Oh, I can do speech or text. No subtitles, I guess. No subtitles? No, no subtitle of course not. options? Uh, should we do speech or text? Let's do speech. Let's do speech. Okay. They just added speech. That's a huge improvement. Except the voice acting is kind of horrible. All right. So you're no longer Sonny Bonds. You play as John, a LAPD officer who's like, Los Angeles is a shit city that sucks and it sucks and it's full of awful people and it sucks. It's just a, a guy now? Yeah. The, <laughs> they had a whole character and series the established. The tortured and tormented body of Bob Hickman, LAPD, lies lifeless among the alley debris. An obvious case of felonious homicide. Oh yeah, this and was an illegal homicide, all right. only one thing, another gun on the street. So I don't know how to put it, but this game is written by Daryl F. Gates in a... <laughs> I can't get that. In a way, I agree with you, though, clip it. And, uh, this game feels like it was written by Daryl F. Gates in that this game hates L.A. so much. That's it so hates bizarre. LA. It hates the residents of L.A., I don't know if we'll get there, but I'm just going to give you a spoiler. Uh -huh. There's an all Latina gang where the big thing about them is they're all on welfare. Oh, no. It's really bad. What the it's hell? It's really bad. It makes Police Quest 3's little stints of racism like charming. Yeah, there was, there was some stupid shit in the first shot. three games, but... This... No, it's... you. Did you like the charm of the first three games? They, they did the, have a little bit of charm. Well, uh, with Jim Walls gone and Daryl Gates here, the charm has been replaced with... Uh, Gritty realism. I say that, but it's also been replaced with something else. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to talk to one black person, but uh, oh, the way no. the game portrays <laughs> African Americans is really bad. I'm going to show one. We do not agree with this depiction from history, but yeah. it is important that we remember it. I don't want... I, I want... It's... Uh, from everything I've heard is that it's really bad. Sir, did you see any unusual activity or unfamiliar cars in the neighborhood? I hear, hear shots fast, like, like, like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> oh, I'm Detective Carey, Major Crimes, Homicide, LAPD. Yeah, bring back Police. Officer Mario. I'd like to ask you a question or two. Whatever, man. I'm just hanging. Let's start with your name. What is it, and do you live in the neighborhood, or are you just visiting? Man, this be my hood. I mean, I be Raymond Jones the third. I think this Daryl F. Gates guy is a fraud. Hey! I, I already hate this. What do I have in here? Money. Here, have some money. You want some, you want some No change? need to do that, Carrie. Daryl G. Brilliant. Yes? Okay, uh... Well, it has an interesting look, but my gun. but in terms of portraying characters and delivering your a story, I don't know about this one. a symbol of your commitment and your identification. Yeah, I know, I know. I want my gun. The shiny metal is cold in your hand. Okay. You love how cold your shield feels. There he goes. Yes, sir. Can I poke people? Jeez, detective. You can. I like that. Detective Carey, sexual harassment is a violation of federal and... <laughs> okay. He just cut her off. God. <laughs> All Awful. right. Officer down. All this right, here's what... Macho thing? Back off, detective. I have marksman status at the range. Unfazed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. That's a yes, gun. Sir. He just likes me being... Sh Okay, you, you don't mind being shot? That's very strange. In fact, you're under arrest. Yes, Carrie? You need help with those? I'm putting you under arrest. Yes, Carrie? You need help with those? I'm putting you under arrest. Sir, I've been issued a pair, but thank you. Ma'am? <laughs> he thought you were Getting being nice. A risky, detective? I'd appreciate a more professional attitude from you. You, sir? Detective, Nobles is here in an official capacity. He's not a suspect. It's true, the shift in writing really, uh, is really obvious. It's very obvious! That's so strange. They had something good going with the first three. What Many the... businesses back up to this alley, detective. It's uh, the lucky... 
It's the Lucky Mini Mart dumpster. Open it. Go in the dumpster, you jerk. That's my Lucky Dumpster. Ah. Uh. The body of a young boy lies strewn in the dumpster. Uh. Hey. Nobles, Chester, we have another body. I don't like Police Quest 4. You don't like the body of the dead child? The bullet no. Wounds puncture the boy's body. He the game just starts like bullet this? Bullet wounds puncture. Bullet wounds puncture the. He looks no more than six or seven years of age. Uh. Can I? Can I? Can I take his shoes? John, have you found something? <laughs> Alex, get out of the dumpster. John, You've lost your you dumpster privileges. Something? John. People are asking if you can skip this. This is like legitimately disturbing. John, have you? Maybe we should move on Noble. to the next game. Chester. We... Yeah. So, Police Quest, <laughs> Police Quest Four, huh? Like I was invested in the first Me three, too? and this, yeah. I don't. I already don't want to see this. I don't know. This is a really clear example of I don't know how to say it, but putting ex an extremely notoriously fucked up guy on your video game series, shockingly enough. Fucks it up, makes it worse. They fucked not it up, but good. Not as fun, not funny. How That's a hell of a shame. Here? How do you mess that up? It was fun to be an idiot cop in the first few, and this one, it would just be depressing. Let's go. Uh, so, we are okay for seven. Thank you. Protect and serve. Um, Jesus Christ. What a bring down. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, that was, uh, that was Police Quest 4. Folks, we got one more game. It only gets better from here, right? Well, this one also has Daryl F. Gates on it, and it is, da-da-da, Daryl F. Gates Police Quest SWAT. You may remember me earlier mentioning Daryl Gates had a big hand in forming SWAT. SWAT was actually started in the LAPD as a way to respond to robberies and other situations. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, uh, Special Weapons and Tactics. It basically was a way to handle... Uh, robbery, I mentioned robberies, but other, like, barricades, things like that. He I didn't know. It, along with Dare, and, uh, yeah. I didn't know it had its origins with the LAPD. That's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a whole big stuff. LAPD is very, very interesting if you want to get depressed. I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad, too. <laughs> the first, the first few games were, like, this really stupid journey of a dumbass cop, but this one, you're just so gritty and, uh, humorless. It's four CDs. That's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know how good this is. Danny, do you like FMV? I do. I was a Sega CD owner back in the day. So, of course, I, I have... Ow! Ow! Hey! Quit shooting the logo! Gun crime is out of control. They're shooting logos all over the place. Let's go. Uh... Yeah, I've heard of SWAT 3 and 4, which are more tactical, but this is uh, a little different, apparently. So, uh, you know, let's start out with a new career this time. Let's, let's go. Welcome to D, Platoon Officer. Uh-huh. Formed in 1967, the Special Weapons I'm not reading and Tactics that. Team of the Los Angeles Police Department. Yeah, you can, you can talk about that later. Yeah, it's basically, it's like, it's SWAT, we're SWAT, and we're great. And this is our mission statement, to uh, be SWAT. My name is, of course, Gay Rat. Welcome to D Platoon, Officer. I'm Sergeant yeah. Rooker. While you're assigned Welcome, to D Officer Platoon, Rat. I'll be your supervisor. Okay. Your new position here is that of an assaulter. This is Officer Packmeyer, and he's your Pac element Meyer. leader. For the record, Officer Packmeyer has been an element leader in D Platoon for eight years. He's a wealth of information, Officer. Learn from him. You say elephant Thank leader? You, Sergeant. Hello. Officer, I'd Hello. like you to give some thought to what I'm about to say. Officer, you dare interrupt a superior? I didn't want to hear what he had to say. You. <laughs> Insubordination is not tolerated around here. Shut never up. has been, never will be. Is that clear, officer? Eat shit, loser. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this pass. I'm going to call it a case of first day jitters. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> Sergeant Paulin is conducting a training detail later on down at the academy range. Be there. Until then, learn what you can and work on that attitude of yours. <laughs> you dare try to skip a cutscene? That is, uh, it is in line with FMV characters. They do tend to get mad if you try to skip them. You also, shoot the tubes, dog meat. This has interviews. Yeah? Mm-hmm. FMV interviews. Let's just, let's just pick a random cop. Okay. Uh, 
This guy's got a weird head. I want to hear what Gil has to say. What's it like having a weird head? Hold on. I got to insert Then press enter to continue. Uh, how does a SWAT officer become a sniper? I'll be real truthful with you. In the past, it used to be the new guys were put into the sniper uh, Why? team. And what happened was, is yeah, they're anxious at first, but later on, uh, they want to move on to what we used to have well-defined positions where you were a rear guard. You were an observer, which would be really a sniper. Uh, he works with the sniper. He has his own sniper weapon. He uh, has his own assault rifle. <laughs> yep, but, yep, yep. Uh, he does look a little bit like, then you like have Curly. A scout, which is probably a very coveted position because he assists the element leader in scouting out any mission that we may have, whether it be a high risk warrant or a barricaded suspect. Hey, Mo, a they gave me a gun. <laughs> Would you? Could you imagine so, him being a sniper? Now we the three have Stooges, SWAT, the three snipers. <laughs> <laughs> SWAT stands for Stooge Weapons and Tactics. That desire that this sucks that it's interviews with real guys. I was hoping it would be in world. No, so it's it's a lot of this. That sucks. That's boring. So you don't need me to do any more of these interviews, right? They're no. extremely dry. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it sucks that they're in here. All right, let's go back to the metro. Hold Please on. insert CV number one. one. Then press enter to continue. Three, four. One. There we go. Let's go to the weapon range. Colt 45 caliber 1911 government models. Guns. Heckler and Coke. F oh, they got the official gun licenses now. Uh, let's go to the small arms range. The first game was like, I don't know, what you got, a Magnum or something? Cool. All right, you ready for the part of the game that takes like that stops you for about an hour? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hope you're ready to stay here till eleven. Refer to him as the SWAT pup. I'm a SWAT pup. Welcome aboard, officer. I'm Thirty David Sergeant Falden. The first time I heard it, I did not hear it as SWAT. Step up to alley thirteen seven yard line and join us. Yes, sir. Are you ready for Alex to use a gun? This is basically a fetish community when you look at it that way. All right, Alex, let's see you Officers use a gun. With your MP5s. Make ready. First, I got to get my gun, which is an MP5, which is this. Uh -huh. And then I have to make it ready, which means put it on semi-auto. Oh, boy. Okay, we got it on semi-auto. Then I have to load it up with, gun with ammo. Officers, come to your guard. Got it. Single to the head, semi-auto. Single to the head, semi-auto. On the whistle. <laughs> on guard. I got him. Good. Did they lower the edge factor for this one? I'm hoping so. They did. By a lot. Thank Christ. Officers, come to your guard. There's only one direction you Failure can go drill. after that last Two game. You gotta to dial the body. it back. One to the head. Semi auto. Two to the body. Single to the head. Semi auto. On the whistle. Yeah, Curly gets hit in the head oh, with the bullet. He'll just dent it. Him. You're off the force. I'm off the force. But yeah, you have to do these under par. It's fun but tedious. And it doesn't let you play the game until you do this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Officers, come to your guard. Two shots to center mass. Semi-auto. I just can't believe the first the game. Mass. The first few games were all like, oh, there's a crazy the guy in the park. We're going to throw these keys in the lake for fun. <laughs> And then the fourth game is like, here's a dead kid in a dumpster. In the city of sin and evil and filth. And it's like, stop it. You don't get to do that. My it's silly little police games. What did you do to them? Officers, come to your guard. Mm -hmm. Single to the head. Semi-auto. Single to the head. I don't think they let you go anywhere else until you finish this. Mm-hmm. On guard. That was pretty good. Weren't you playing this for like a really long time earlier You'll trying see. to get it's past fine. this? Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> yes, I was. Okay, what do you want me to do this time, buddy? Officers, mm -hmm. come to your guard. Got it. Two shots to center mass. Semi auto. All right. Two shots to center mass. Semi auto. On the whistle. 
On guard. Okay, this is boring. Let's uh let's get out of here. This career has no saved games in which to restore. This career has no saved game. This career. Well. Give me a second here. <laughs> okay. We're trying to find Alex's saved games. He did put a lot of time into this. I'm gonna. I hope we do get to see. I put play. in so much time skipping things and making saves. He shot every single letter in that logo. This one, I think, is the right one. Capital G, Gay Rat. Yeah. All right. Oh, you didn't get any help with this one, I see. <laughs> that sucks. On compromise, duty, honor, and valor. So, uh, let's finish. And go to this briefing. First, each call-up we answer is unique to the situation at hand. Uh -huh. No two encounters will ever be exactly alike. However, each situation will share certain characteristics. Okay. The negotiation process, tactical plan formation, scouting the area for possible approach routes, mm -hmm. interviewing victims, neighbors, and witnesses. Structures will share features Danny, such do you as like, entry uh, dry instructionals? single or multiple levels. Love them. What we cannot plan for is how any suspect will behave. Let's Remember go to the thrift things. store and buy up a it ton of VHS tapes from closed businesses. Of any given situation, and there is never just one way to resolve a crisis. So, how can we truly be prepared? Mm -hmm. well, for Guns. one thing, we can train using proven tactics and procedures. Any questions so far? Yeah, can I skip this? <laughs> I'm how skip dare this. you try to skip this, officer? During a tactical operation. Right. We communicate two ways. This is the end. Lash you can't skip this part. But... And hand signals. The lash radio this basically headset tells you how to play the game. Oh the my vibrations God. From your throat. You're going to want to whisper when using the lash. Anything louder than a whisper will cause distortion. Bring back the text parser, please. Verbal communication should we don't need FMV. Free. We don't need real people. Hears you. If you need Technology a was a mistake. A room and cover a cleared area, you need only say trailer cover window nothing more okay. the trailer will come to you and set up on the window if you're sniper team number one and you've arrived at your position <laughs> you can't shit. Shit. sorry high ground one in position will do must brass police quest to. two recognize the verb shit the other method of communication in, in context utilize even is from the military and it's used internationally it's the use of hand signals mm -hmm. now these are basic but for those of you needing a refresher course a raised fist means hold. Do not move. Moving your hand horizontally over your head means cover. A raised okay. fist moved in an up and down motion means hurry up. A it hand means with spread fingers indicates suspect. <laughs> the direction you point indicates where. A raised the fist is. means hell yeah. If you need someone's attention, snap. Mono your is one, and rail means rail. If you <laughs> see or hear snapping, someone wants your attention. And when someone has your attention, if they point to their eyes and then to a door, they want you to look at the door or in the direction of the door. If you see a thumbs Throw up, spitball. you know an area. You back there, you reading nudie to comics? You gotta pay attention. If you see a flat hand, do There's not no room for hentai and SWAT. Your action or movement. Stop. All very basic hand movements, but gestures that can save your life and the lives of your teammates. Now, I know sometimes in the heat of the moment, it's tempting to add an additional middle finger into our repertoire. Oh. But I would ask you to curb that temptation and behave professionally. <laughs> well, that's it. Welcome Thank to the no fun time, zone. Gentlemen. Dismissed. You know, there's something to be said for... Now, hold on. Okay, never mind. Please insert CD number two. I was about to say. To this, to this to alert. I was about to say that making games more realistic doesn't necessarily make them more fun, and I think this is like the ultimate example. Barricade Unless you're female, into this shit, North in Hollywood which case area, this would be like West your ultimate Avenue. game. Shots mm -hmm. fired. Code three. This oh, you got to a you got to a thing. LAPD. Lucy, if you can hear me, I want you to answer the telephone. We're here to help you. 
please pick up the telephone and talk with me. It's my wife, Lucy. Lucy Long. <laughs> She's holed up in the house. She won't come out, won't let me in. Like I told that other officer, she's been mixed up a lot lately. Ain't that so, Katie? This is my daughter, Katie. Go ahead, hon, tell the officer. My mom's always been real protective of our family, but it's different now. It's like she's not just protective, she's angry or paranoid or something. I don't oh, know Oh, boy. I think she's become dangerous. She has a gun now, and she shot at me and my dad this morning. That's right, and she damn near killed us, too. See, yesterday, she threw me out of the house, hollering she weren't going to let me back in. She locked all the doors. Neighbors across the street were looking. So I, I walked down to Katie's. She just lives in the apartments over on Moroa. So I spent the night there. This morning, Katie brung me back home. We was walking up to the house, and Lucy started shooting at us. Uh. That's when I called the police. I understand, sir. We'd like for your wife to come out on her own so we can get her some help. But if she won't, and the possibility exists she might hurt herself, well, we might have to go in and get her. I was just briefing Mr. Long on the possibility that we might have to enter his home. Mr. Long, our crisis negotiation team is currently on the telephone with your wife. There's some concern that she may be delusional. Now, I realize I've already asked you to explain the physical layout of your house and property, but in case we need to go in and get her, I want to make sure that we're prepared. Is there anything else that you can tell me about the house's layout? This at least has better acting than the last it game. It does. Course, you've seen the boards in the front windows. She's got all the windows boarded up like that. Huh. See what you can learn from the Long's neighbors. Okay. She's barricaded herself. Let's talk to this guy. Hello. You must be the neighbor. Yes, I'm Mr. Devon. I've been living across from the Long's for the last 10 years. When I first moved in, they were real nice. Yeah, send in Colombo. Mm -hmm. Showed me and my wife the neighborhood. Yeah, hadn't been the same in the last few years. You know the wife, Lucy? She beats that old man real bad. Oh, all geez. day long. You cops been out here. I'm getting to know you guys on a first name basis. <laughs> so, so she beats this guy, huh? Oh my God. Excuse me, sir. Did you speak with the neighbor? Yes, sir. Good. We'll be briefing in a few minutes. You can share the information you have at that time. All right, briefing time. Or, uh, can I talk to this lady? Excuse me, sir. Sergeant oh. Rooker and I'll be calling the briefing in a few minutes. Stand by. Oh, okay. Uh, can I talk to that guy? I have a bad feeling about hey. putting Alex in charge How of this you one. Is this your you first time out? You'll be all right. Just keep your eyes open for hazards. Okay. You? You guys? You guys hey. over here? Hey. Hey. Since this is your first time out, a little advice for you. Okay. Do as you're told. Okay. Somebody gotta tell me what to do then. The secret is you just have to wait. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that was the case in some of the earlier games, too. You just gotta wait for backup. There we go. A uh, game? Hey, leave everything alone in there. Okay. It's all been inventoried and nothing's been assigned to you. Okay. Don't touch my stuff. Briefing! Oh! The situation as we know it is this. We have a barricaded white female inside the residence. She's 64 years old and she suffers from various health maladies. She's diabetic and she suffers from a heart condition that requires the use of medication. Okay. CNT tells me she's delusional. She thinks the activity outside the house are gangbangers trying to break in. She's a shooter. Approach knowing she's armed and dangerous. This is the layout of the house. On side one, we have a front door entrance. This is a dangerous approach as it has two windows to contend with. The large front window and a small kitchen window. To compensate for that, we've placed snipers here on this side of the street to watch those ports. Apparently, this house has been somewhat fortified over the years. The garage has been sealed yeah, check off check for traps and fantasy walls. Side three has one opening, a barricaded window. Okay. While negotiations continue with the suspect, we're going to place an emergency assault team on side one for entry through opening two. 
The emergency entry team will consist of the following. Rhea, Scout. Denton, Rear Guard. Packmire, Element Lead. For rear containment, side three, Pup and Are we Whistle. really about to Any swap questions? this poor grandma? Mm -hmm. I gotta get my weapon out. <laughs> Sounds like the fat's in the fire. Line up for deployment. Let's oh, I go. thought you shot the van. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, Alex, come on. Oh, shit. So here's a secret this game is impossible! MP5, I've heard. Full auto. Oh shit, I gotta go. Hold on. Wrong gun. Fuck, fuck. Where's my gun? It's cool. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Okay. Full. Oh my god, full auto? Really? Yeah, show no mercy. Go. Okay, here we go. We're going full auto. <laughs> Tense. Wonder what's gonna happen. Now bring in the tank. What? What do you see? Okay, I know how to move. I did it before. The buttons? I've, I've done this before. I swear. Uh. Get that idiot out of there. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> I've seen this before. People just freeze up when it's their turn to, to finally go into action. Sarge, I screwed up. Yes, I'm well aware of that. Sarge, look, I had to pull you out of there. Your behavior threatened to compromise the situation, and any compromise can result in the loss of lives. Do you understand that? Yes, Sergeant. Good, then you'll understand why I'm sending you back to Metro, and why I'm strongly suggesting that you read up on the tactical material provided by the department. Now, if you're unclear about what information I'm talking about, check the briefing room chalkboard for specific topics to study. Are we clear, officer? Yes, sir. Okay, then, what are you still standing here for? Go on, move it! Sorry. Please insert CD number one. Then I also love it when FMV games berate me. That's what they're best at. Please insert CD number Dog one. Dog turd, you really then messed up this time. Now shoot the tubes and be Please a SWAT. Please insert CD number one, then press enter to continue. You went back to SWAT school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it going to make you repeat all your training? <laughs> I guess we're just going to let that grandma situation resolve itself. So, last time it let me restore. I don't know why it's not letting me do that this time. Uh... Okay, let me do... Gun. Caliber do gun. You only restore if you die, apparently. Yeah, move far enough away and she'll just despawn. Oh, we have to do the briefing end again. Sorry, folks. <laughs> During a tactical operation, I'm not watching this again. I refuse. I don't have a choice! <laughs> I think we're just going to have to call the stream. You know what? I'm with you. I'm with you. You didn't get to see Grandma. The, less, the, the moral to the story is SWAT is bullshit. It's all just procedural stuff and then you finally get into action and they're like no you don't I'm get so to do it sad we miss the Verbal what happens is grandma comes and shoots you <laughs> i love being shot by grandma i missed grandma what a fiddly couple of games to end the series with there were sm more swat games after this of course they were very different and more popular but that's the first one along with the first four police quest games i feel more informed about the world now I, I think I will play Police Quest 1 through 3. I don't know about those next two. I'm, I, don't, I don't know about those. I don't know. I, I feel 
genuinely uncomfortable with four. Four, four is four made my skin crawl. I was like, should we be streaming this? Does anyone really want to see this? Yeah, if I play those those games, I'll probably skip four. SWAT at least looked interesting, uh, if you can get the save system to work. And one mm-hmm. through three just looked like a rollicking good time, so I'll play One those. through three was great. Man, what happened? Well, we know what happened. Derelift Gates happened. Literally, this is what happens when you put the guy who was, like, who was super racist behind the fucking scenes of your game. Hey, here's a hint. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> Do that, not even to bring controversy to your game. Because guess what? It didn't work. It yeah. didn't. It did. It didn't increase the sale. It just. It... Apparently, sales were flat after the first three. Like the big controversy didn't lead to any kind of boost in sales or popularity for the series. Oh well, at least they. Uh, I wish they hadn't, but they did that, and mm-hmm. that is a part of gaming history. Daryl F. Gates is now fully intertwined with video game history, like it or not. <laughs> We must remember the past so we don't make these mistakes again. Yes, exactly. Police Quest. Police Quest. Pretty interesting, Mm -hmm. the direction it took. And pretty good first few games in the series, too. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Alex, for putting together this presentation. I'm sorry, I don't think you're you're, uh, fit for SWAT, though. No, I'm quitting. I'm I'm quitting. They literally just were like, you're just... I would love a SWAT guy who would just stand outside and just do nothing. (laughs) Yeah, that that was realistic. You froze up. It was your first day of the force after months of training, and you just couldn't do it. It was for the best. Go home and be a family man, as they say. Okay, I will. (laughs) We're done here. Thank you, Alex. Thank (laughs) you to Mr. Kindred. And special thanks to Mr. Kindred and Megane67 for helping us set up this train. Yes, thank you, Megane. I really appreciate the help with this one. Couldn't have done it without you. Usually point-and-click adventure games are outside our wheelhouse, but enough people have requested these that we thought we'd give them a shot, and I think Alex did a great job. Let's give give Alex a big hand. Yay, me. Yay! (laughs) If you have any guns, shoot them up in the air right now. Okay. Not if if you're in a first-floor apartment. That's a bad idea. Yeah, please don't shoot me. (laughs) It's because of our patrons that we streamed what we just did. Mm -hmm. We almost streamed Police Quest, I mean uh, King's Quest, but no, we ended up with Police Quest, which I think is the much more deranged story of the two. Absolutely. Good choice. I agree with y'all. Patrons, we have something special coming up next week. We're due for another patron request gauntlet, so tune in to the Patreon, patreon.com slash retropals. If you're in at the $5 tier, you get to tell us a game that we get to play next week. You just pick one a la carte it doesn't have to be part of a a theme or anything you can just tell us to play whatever bullshit you want Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all we have to do is just sit here and take it i guess so yeah now it's a really really good time to join our uh, patreon at the five dollar tier because uh yeah we'll see some uh, weird stuff yeah yeah from you Alex, why don't you wrap us up? I'm going to look for a raid target. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is a look at Konami on N64. It is a good one. It has a Goemon in it, your favorite, my Lots favorite. of Goemon. A strange it's... puzzle game in there. Mm-hmm. Some weird sports games no one remembers. And a lot of Japanese exclusives, too. Yeah, yeah, that was an interesting episode, I thought. We're also on Discord. Let me just drop the Discord link in the chat. Kaboom. You can join us there to discuss our streams, to discuss retro games, media, and of course, to discuss your gorgeous cats. I love them. They are beautiful. I love them all. I'm kissing them all on the head. So many good cats in the Discord. Good job. Good job. Good job, everybody. I said good job twice in a row. You're turning I've been, into... You're... I've been SWAT brained. All right. We also have a co-host and a blue sky. Let me just drop those links in the chat. You can join us there to find out when we go live on YouTube, on Twitch, when we've got new videos on YouTube. Good job, Homestare. Yeah, yeah, your coach is E now and all that good stuff. So follow us on Blue Sky and co-host for all the news you can use. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. Raiden Murphigator, who is doing a collab with uh, Gamma Chris, and they are playing Gunstar Heroes. That is a hell of a combination. Great game. Great streamers. Go say hi. Mm -hmm. You'll have a good time. I'm pretty sure of it. So enjoy that. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.